my gosh, Mush! Hi, it's nice to see you again. Hello, hello. Yeah. I'm back for some more trails. All right, I will hydrate. Yeah, first hydrate of the day. <laughs> so I remember last we were doing uh, some side quests and now we have more side quests. So we have like three more side quests to do before we start uh, diving into the main story. And um, yeah, we were able to figure out the entertainment district mystery and stuff. So now we have a new chapter that just started, uh, if I remember correctly. We have to find out about... Wait, the doctor's missing? Oh, the main doctor's missing. The one that likes to fish. So we have to find out what happened to him. So we got uh, a new plot on hand. So let's, um, let's find where some of these other questions are because some of them are a little bit of a mystery and some of them say like you gotta take pictures of hotspots, but I think they automatically trigger if you find them. So I don't know where they are, so we're going to just wander around until something happens. Um so yeah, this is, we borrowed the orbital camera. Um We gotta have Ellie take the picture. And here we have to go to warrant officer Morel at Belgar Gate, so that's like out of the way outside of Crossbell City. And this one we just have to fight a, a dangerous monster. So these are the three we're working with. So we have taking pictures, uh, go to Belgar Gate, and then do a monster hunt. And then after we're done, we go to St. Ursula, which is the hospital. Hey, good afternoon. I've heard there will be a number of attractions in the Harbor District. My ears aren't deceiving me. I think I can hear cheering from all the way over there. The Harbor District's experiencing some heavy congestion right now. With all these extra visitors coming in, we'll have to stay especially sharp. Oh, for IDO's sake, another set of toys coming to withdraw some more more, am I right? You're all failures! Learn how to manage your assets so that you have a proper amount of spending money the first time. It's not their fault. Chief Roberts from Epstein Foundation came to greet me a little while ago. He had a bright smile across his face as he walked away, putting an extra spring in his step today. Most businesses in Crossbell State are closed for the duration of festival. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little jealous of them. Now oh, you always have to be open. Hello, and welcome to International Bank of Crossbell. What's that? <laughs> it's good to see you all again. I hope you're enjoying this Crossbell 70th birthday. Hi, Loon! You're heckin' sweet. Have a good day. I'm gonna need a bit of sleep, but as for right now, I'm gonna step away from my device to do the recycling. Hi, oh, yo, thank you for dropping by, Loon. Thank you for your kind words. Oh no, Loon! <laughs> Just to say he was complimenting you, you give me the clown news. You! You're so sweet. Thank you, Lan Fei. We are. I imagine work is keeping you especially busy right now. Yes, the anniversary festival isn't an internationally observed holiday, unfortunately. And seeing as where the international bank business continues chugging on. Today's just another normal day for us. But that's too bad. Sorry you're missing out. Oh, don't worry about me. We're being compensated with time off after the anniversary festival. Please, don't hesitate to ask if you need to use any of our services. Oh, we can actually go here. Nice. wonder if there's some rooms. Oh my gosh, we... Is this Ellie's friend's room? Oh, Ellie! Will you be per uh, attending my party? Thank you, Lun! Yes, I'm very excited to play some more Zero. I was looking forward to it. I was like, I can't wait to get through more story. Hi, Ikjo! How are you? 
It may be early in the day, but I assure you it'll be a fantastic time. Didn't I just accompany you to yesterday's celebration, Belle? Perhaps this is a mar far more casual. Only my friends will be in attendance. How will I possibly survive if my best one isn't there? I hate to rain on your parade, but we're in the middle of working right now. I wasn't asking you. Ellie can stay here while you finish your in her stead. Never fails to be Queen B, eh? Oh. So these are rooms I was never able to go to before. I wonder if these bookshelves can be observed. Nope. Alright, none of these can be observed. Wait, what about the table? Nope, okay. Sometimes they could surprise me. Yeah, you never could be too sure. So those are the two rooms. We could go to the basement. Keeping the orbital network running securely without any kinks in the system is a feat in itself. As a matter of fact, one of our processors broke down yesterday. We pulled an all-nighter trying to fix the blasted thing. Everyone's out enjoying the anniversary festival, so it feels a little empty in here. Oh, it's just you, you two? Okay, I give up. This what the? What the? Oh my gosh, no! Wait, I didn't even read that! No! <laughs> more and more business have been opting into using the orbital network as of late. As we just finally got more terminals, the festival brought a ton of data, which overloaded our servers, so we have to come up with some more countermeasures. No, I missed everything you said. I don't want to restart the low just for you. Not worth it. <laughs> it wasn't important anyway. It wasn't like a side story or main story, so it's fine. Um, what do you have? You won't find a tastier gelato in all of Zamora. We are even the official gelato of the Remurian royal family. Would you like to try some? Powdered snow and supreme latte. Wait, can I go inside? No, I can't. Okay. Um, and I can't go there. And what is this? Oh, this is like the dice steak, the juicy steak. And the fresh fruit cheese. You sell something too? Is it the same thing? Yeah, it is. Alright. Alright, so we already talked to everyone there. So we just have to go downtown now. And then we talked to everybody in Crossbell City. And then we could uh, go to towns outside of Crossbell City to check up what they're doing. To go out with Molly and Daddy today! Hooray! Aw. I usually have to walk work all day long. Sorry, I gotta move this. My cat wants to sleep here. Let me move my mic closer to me. So you can lay down. <laughs> she is doing the sniff on all my equipment right now. <laughs> Kind of cute. Well, my cat is. My cat is sniffing all over my equipment. She's trying to see if she could lay down here. Uh, in front. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about her going in front of the camera anymore. Yeah. Amazing. Now she's like, all comfortable. Okay, I can keep reading. Usually I have to work all day long. Now I see the sun as my little girl feels when I'm away. All right. We'll explore the festival today, and we have the most fun you've ever had! Where to, darling? This confetti is absolutely charming. The anniversary festival never fails to make this old heart leap every year. I'm content with just watching everyone enjoy it to the fullest. Are you throwing lizards again into the sewer? Yo, tourist! Spare me some more of Oh my gosh. Oh no, these kids. Hey, Taurus guy. If you don't give me some more, I'm gonna prank you. <laughs> oh no. Man, these snotty kids will not give me a break. Darn it, why did I take my eyes off of her? Today's just not my day. Oh, he lost his kid? Oh no. Is there anyone in here? Nope. 
You're still here doing homework? Students like myself can't afford to take breaks when there are exams coming up. I'm sure you've experienced some kind of crunch at that point yourself, right? This is the 70th anniversary. You're- this is like the only time you're gonna experience the 70th anniversary. Because next year it's gonna be the 71st. So it's not gonna be the same as the 70th. Enjoy today, Machard! Machard, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh my gosh, this person is like studying themselves to death. Oh, they're here. And now we toast. It is unfortunate that the lovely Rixia is unable to join us. She's co-starring in Arkansas's new play, right? Color me impressed. That's quite the achievement. I had no idea she was that famous. I've just been idly chatting with her this entire time. You folks interested in this fine drink? Oh, curious are we. This liquor is made from sweet potato. Oh, am I gonna get a recipe? Nope. I don't have the mirror to spend around playing at the festival, so I decided to celebrate by joining the other residents for some hot pot. I gotta admit, Tense is a really caring old man. Nobody home? Oh! Door should touch. Oh, he's still inside of there. Just one more round, pretty please. Hi, Ito! How is the progress? I am at chapter three. I just started chapter three. So I just finished like one of the side quests and yeah, I finished the entertainment uh, district um, story by Ixia and Ilya. Oh, my controller disconnected. There we go. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. So I guess I'm like halfway done with the the game. We just dropped some new goods in. You want to see it? It's some pretty expensive stuff. Don't mind the price. When it comes to Primo merch, you gotta pay Primo Mora. That's how it works. You're more than halfway done. Yeah, I'm so excited. I wanna. I already bought a Zer. So I already have a Zer. I already have um, Trails of Cold Steel 1 and Trails of Cold Steel 2. So I'm pretty much set for a head for a couple games. <laughs> Good night, Luton. Yeah, so excited. I want to see what I can get. Oh, I can't buy any of this stuff. No. Where can I get a marble ring? Oh, is it? Uh, I just have to buy accessories? I see. So the one that I probably would want the most is Solar Pendulum, which I need a silver brooch, a floral bottle, and coral ring. I wonder if I could find those. Uh, what about quartz? Uh, I feel like I could buy any of these, except Intimidation. I need two Heaven's Eyes. <gasps> oh! Ooh, wait. No, wait. Do I want Intimidation? Oh, I already own Intimidation. Okay, I don't need it. I don't need any of this. So you need five action ones to get an action two, huh? What about this? What is this? Uh, these are just... Hmm. So glad you're making big progress. Yeah! I know you love this game, and I love it too. We got ourselves one hell of a haul today. We're selling them at discount too. Business tends to pick up like crazy around that time of the anniversary festival. Not that I'm complaining. Considering we're officers of the law, that's not exactly the most thrilling news. What's this? I was considering checking out the bar here, but the sign says they're closed for today. That's a shame. Oh my gosh, what's happening? There's a big meeting. Even those guys in the Mafia have settled down now that the festi festivities have begun. Crossbell's gang has my heart entirely for real, for real. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, yeah! 
We set aside our differences with the vipers for the time being, too. Ugh, now we have to wait even longer before we can annihilate those vipers for good. We're going out together today. Wazy's a busy man, so we don't have that time yesterday. How's your family, Hazel? Don't spare any details, okay? Sure, I'm planning on spending the second half of the festival with my sister. But today, I want to go out and enjoy with you guys. Uh, the testaments don't have worked, have worked to work around them, so I'm pretty sure my sister will be happy to see me. We're temporarily closed for the day. Please return tomorrow if you'd like to uh, come for a drink. What's to say we check out the anniversary festival with everyone? What about you guys? Want to come with? I bet it'll be pretty fun. Sorry, we can't. We're on duty right now. Actually, I'm pretty sure you invited us knowing that that well, didn't you? <laughs> Caught red-handed. You guys sure are two by the book. I think everybody else is not here. Yeah. Happy birthday, Crossbell. Ain't a happier time than the year than right now. If it weren't isn't for Crossbell's esteemed heroes, the gallant folks that stopped the mayor from taking a dirt nap. It's uh, a little embarrassing when you put it like that. Well, great. I'm a sucker for good cheesy line. The more embarrassing, the better. Keep devoting yourself to your duties, you hear? This old man is excited to see what you could do. You got it, Gramps. We appreciate the praise, Mr. Galame. Evil Snake. Soul Kiss. Aries Rod and Heat Device. I wonder where I could get them. I'm gonna look up to see where I could find those. Graham Chakra. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go right now to see. Can I buy the Graham Chakra? Gram Chopper is a uh, Tio's weapon. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's expensive. I don't even have enough for that. What the? So, I can only upgrade the stuff from that current chapter. So, if I want to make that money now, do I have excess... Um, let me see. I could actually probably do exchange here. I have way too much space up, so I could probably do that. Uh, let's trade in for 500. Exchange separate. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now I have money. <laughs> Graham Chopper for Randy. Let's see how good this is. Yes, let's equip that. And I guess we could sell all the old equipment because I guess like the stuff that we had before is like not going to be used later. So might as well sell it. Oh. Might as well sell everything. Oh my gosh, I have been stocked up for a while. I don't think I'm gonna sell the the armor because who knows we're gonna get another member in. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right, let's try out this Graham Chopper and upgrade it. Make Randy a superhuman. Eat the fight. Oh, 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 he has to not be equipped. Okay, um, how do I unequip? Alright. There we go. Heat device. Oh, so you could only upgrade it once. I see. Alright. Congrats, you got a heat device. Holy crap, that's very powerful. Dang, Randy. Burn is 10% chance. I'm kind 
be tempted to buy everybody their really good weapon, but I don't think I have enough you material, do I? I have enough for one more. Uh, who would I want to raise it for? Probably for... Freeze, Petrify, or Sleep. I think I would... All of these do pretty much the same thing. I think Heat Device was probably the worst one. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's um try to get an Ares Rod. But we need a Cyclotron. Sounds pretty OP, a Cyclotron. Uh, shop, buy, Cyclotron. Oh, it's 4,000. Wait, ah, I shouldn't have equipped that. Alright, so we want to go to downtown. Alright, um... Here? Whip? Tio? Oh wait, I have two Cyclotron! <laughs> No! No way. Oh, that's bad. I'm so bad. I wasted money. Here's your Cyclotron. Alright, there you go. Ah, do you guys mind helping me pick up tr any trash you see? If I could get this place squeaky clean, I bet the tourists will enjoy exploring this area. I'm pretty darn happy if I saw other people appreciating how clean it was. Well, I, I would if I could, but I don't see anything dirty. I don't think there's anyone in my son Imada. Oh yeah, I gotta head out here soon. Stay sharp, Dino. Try not to miss us too much. Right. Walt and the other guys are about to screw around in the city. Everybody loves the festival, so they hit up the food stalls every year. Leaving you behind to watch over the base? Y yeah Well, what can I do about it? I'm the lowest rung on the ladder. Aww. I'm gonna get a, a steak skewer. Am I gonna get a steak skewer? <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I getting a steak skewer or omelet rice? Yo, you trying the tricolor ice cream yet? That stuff's amazing. Y you stupid or something? Ice cream's for pansies. No, everybody should enjoy ice cream. Yesterday was one hell of a party. Think we should hit up another place today? Oh, heck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> We're going balls to the walls again. I got a bad feeling about this. Agreed. Can they do one day without causing an uproar? Oh, it looks like they're they're having fun. So it looks like we have explored every nook and cranny of the city. I think, yeah, we did. Yeah. So all we have to do is check out the city's outside. Uh, where is? Hello, there you are. Uh, we're going to Amaroka Village. And then we're gonna go to Tangram Gate. Ah, sorry. It's crazy how different the culture is in Amaroka compared to the city. In here I thought I was going to see all sorts of high-tech agriculture ornaments. Well, I guess it's refreshing to have places to that withstand modern times. Snake soup skewer. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Ooh. Nobody home. Oh, <gasps> is this the... Never mind, it's not the, the merchant. Sounds like some tours are headed our way. Apparently, Mary is going to be a working the Perry Apiary. Oh, it's Apiary. During the anniversary special instead of Derek. Well, I am Ferran is pretty excited about all this. That just means the village is gonna get a lot livelier. 
The soft murmuring of the river, the chirping of the birds, the gorgeous scenery. I bet Amaruka would be a perfect place for a nice picnic. And speaking of picnics, I'm starving. I wanted to see the anniversary festival, but Mom told me I can't, couldn't. Ah, uh, P R E. I I P R E. Oh, so annoying. Whoa, this place is so soothing. After seeing the city's crowds, it's hard to believe we're still in Crossbell State. Watching Arkansas perform was the only item of my festival to-do list, so I thought I might as well see what this village is like. Not... I, not... A. Oh, A! A, not I. Oh. A, P, A, oh. This is pretty nice. I'll probably take it easy here until the festival ends. B things? A lot of strangers have been walking to the village. Do you think they'll play with me while I'm here? Oh, I thought that was a, an adult. I didn't know that was a kid. Oops. <laughs> Earnings from our festival food stall weren't too bad on the first day. I can't thank Arkansas for that, bringing as many people to the city as they did. <laughs> Fresh veggies? This cheap? Time to stockpile while I can. Yeah, I know, right? It's so cheap. <sighs> Amaroka Village. <sighs> Amaroka Village's honey seems to be a real hit with the toys. If we make this much mirror all the time, I could just kick back and live happily. I've only been told a rumor here that there's a there about it. But the way I hear it, Arkansas's new show is something else. If I were to get my mitts on a ticket, you better believe I'd drop all my farm work. Uh, to the next bus into the city faster, you could say, Emmerich and Omelette Rice. Care to repeat that? Oh, it's just a joke, dear. Farm work is keeping me busy, so I can't be able to make the trip to the festival. Aretha and Stefan are going, since it's a good opportunity to visit their old home. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I keep missing. Alright, there's nobody here, as always. <laughs> Derek volunteered to be our anniversary festival stall stalemen. So that means I'm in charge of the apiary for the whole anniversary festival. Well, about time that I get to work. Uh, is this... Can I actually go inside this inn? Oh, I can. I think I'll take some time with those monster exterminations today. If you leave them be, they'll can multiply in a blink of an eye. Hard to believe that tourists are going to stop by a remote place like Amaroka. Aliola, let's j try to stop any troublemakers from entering places they shouldn't, okay? I heard you loud and clear. Let me finish eating first. I'm almost done with today's work. Should I look around Crossbell City in the afternoon? We decided to pitch in and offer our food at the village's anniversary festival stall. My daughter even volunteered to help out. You got it done in one, yeah! If you ever start missing my cooking, you could get some in Crossbell City. Alright, tourists are probably looking to book some rooms here soon, so I'll have to work extra hard to man this place by myself. Oh! Being here in the village is like a breath of fresh air. I can hardly believe myself tending to the fields while basking in the sun's glow. When I'm old, I want to spend the rest of my days in a relaxing place like this. Whoa, that's a big room. It looks like for a family. Wait, is it has four beds for four of us. I think we're gonna be staying here sometime. Wait, I didn't see this girl. Lots of tourists have been coming to visit the village lately. I'll stay here by the water in case someone from the Fisherman's Guild stops by. Why you ask? To be recruited, of course. You're about to get schooled. 
Let me see if I could try the... Alright, so we got red flies, so we got more. Nice. I want to see if I could get something new here. Three, two, one. Hmm. Nothing is biting. Alright, what about red? Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, nice. We got... Oh. No! I already have this! A shame. According to Derek, the food stall has been quite a hit. As the chief of Emeroka Village and I came... A long-time producer of honey, I couldn't be proud of. We still have four more days of the festival to enjoy, and it looks like the crowd of tourists will continue to grow. I should, uh... I should make sure and ask Gofan to make a warm welcome at the inn. Yep, nobody else here. Alright, I wonder if we could take some pictures here. Oh, yes, we can! Emeruka Village's fields and apiary are as beautiful as they are ever. Crossbell's esteemed farming village. Grace's tourist guide might benefit from a landscape shot like this. It's a perfect picture, that's for sure. With how clean the air is here, you could see the countryside spread out far, far into the distance. This may very well be the only place in Crossbell where you could witness such a beautiful, untainted sight. Only there were farmers working the fields for our picture. The spot will make a nice photo for Grace's article, farmers or not. Do you mind taking a few photos for us, Ellie? N not at all. Don't expect a masterpiece from me, though. Psh, relax, mademoiselle I'm sure it'll turn out great. Gotta peek through the lens, give it a click, then BAM! We're all set, yeah? Huh, like capturing a great photo were that simple. You have to plan your composition to ensure that the capture of your subject is what you want in the frame. The slightest change in weather or wind can drastically alter the impression of the final picture. Sometimes you could come across a picture-perfect shot that lasts only for a brief second and will be lost forever if you miss your chance. True, the difference in quality between amateur and professional photography is immediately apparent. I would uh, imagine a simpleton would have difficulty grasping any level and intricacy of nuance required for the task. Hey, now. Just where was that last comment directed? Uh, Alright, let's calm down, everyone. We need to let Ellie focus on taking the photo. Right. I'll do my best. Phew, there we go. Took a couple of extras just in case. Hey, it looks like you pulled through. Well, how do they turn out? I won't have an answer for you until you've seen the developed photos. At the very least, I think they get the job done. I believe we'll be safe to assume Ellie has regained her photography skills. Well, I'm no expert of the field, so I trust her judgment. We have to keep our eyes peeled for other scenic locations to take pictures of. With that, shall we get going? I have an idea of another place that we could take pictures. If that was one of the places. Uh, let's go to Tamgrim Gate. So they say, like, taking pictures from Belgard and Tangram Gate are a big no-no. But, um, I'm sure there are things that are happening here. Yesterday, we had a huge influx of tourists coming to ca from Calvar passing through the gate. As you could probably guess, it was hectic. There's a lot more coming, so I should brace myself while I can. I wanted to go to the anniversary festival, but we're really, really busy. I'm sure Belgard Gate just has it just as rough. Oh, Erebonia people. Nothing to report, for now at least. There's too many people. I'm going to pass out. Hmm? So this is Tangram Gate. It doesn't seem very fortified. With defenses like this, it's only a matter of time before it falls to the Republicans' hands. You don't mind standing here and here. On the entry application. There, there, am I good to go? Let's see, yes, you're all set. Have a wonderful time at the anniversary festival. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. It's not even noon yet, and my stomach's already yelling at me for grub. 
wonder if anyone would do me a solid and bring me a snack. We came here out to, uh, today to request a tourist headed back to Calvard. Violet managed to retrieve the wallet that we dropped in Tangra Tangram Hill, not far away from the gate. Uh, was that it? That sounds like a pretty straightforward job to me. That's what one would think, right? Unfortunately, you're forgetting that the Tangram Hill is Republican territory. Republic territory, sorry. Even when something is as insignificant as picking up a lost wallet requires time and cooperation with Republican officials. Calvary sounds like a strict place. You're telling me. Going to show that even the simplest of jobs can make you jump through quite a few hoops. The bus service seems to be the best way to get to Crossbell City. The bus stop is right at the parking lot, right? Now my belly's full, I'll have to go take a look. Setting aside the railway, a lot of Calvardians have make their way through Tangram Gate on foot. Well, I guess it's basically a straight shot, not that I would s subject my legs to, but I suppose it's not so odd. Oh, well, I want to check out through here. Yesterday was a big grand opening of the Arkansas new performance. I really, really wanted to go, but fake could be quite cruel. informed that this is in fact the passenger waiting room. How careless of me. Well, be as it may, I may I still have the irresistible urge to clean up this mess. Is there people here? No. Oh, there's a person here. Both Sergeant Major Seeker and Deputy Commander Bales are on their day off today, yesterday. I heard that the Sergeant Major went to the city to spend time with her little sister, but I can't help but wonder what the deputy commander ended up doing. She isn't exactly the most social of people, so I'm having a hard time coming up with possibilities. Oh, Lloyd! I've been wanting to thank you for yesterday. Just not for me, but for Fran, too. I know she had a wonderful time. No, I should be the one thanking you for inviting me for the first place. I can't say I get many opportunities to go to concerts nowadays, so it really was an awesome experience. I'm so happy to hear that. By the way, uh, you don't have to worry. I'm sure that you'll get other opportunities to go to more eventually. Nah, wait. I sense you had another misunderstanding coming in. In three, two, one. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. You got to spend your afternoon with the sisters? What did you get the goddess to bless you with all the luck, huh? Uh, you two are, uh, aren't just men. You're just a couple of animals. Truly despicable human beings. Oh, they're all misunderstanding, Lloyd. Why does this keep happening? What did I even do? Enjoying the festival, everyone? Oh, that's a pretty cruel question, you know. Better than anyone who insanely busy we are. Look, on the bright side, Randy, at least we're able to have the opening day of the festival off. Hope you get... I hope you get used to it and recover your energy. I imagine you were encounter some of your share of- Ugh, I cannot read today, what the heck? I imagine you'll encounter your share of trouble throughout the festival. Just think of the event as an opportunity to show off how much you've improved. Alright, this is just a treasure chest, so, nope. Yeah, this is upstairs, we could- we can't really have a scenic shot here. Ah, this is Calvard. Ah, the future. I could smell it. <laughs> oh god, I couldn't smell it. <laughs> I tried to sniff it. I was like, inhaled. Inhaled phlegm. Ugh. The view of yesterday was something else, let me tell you. I couldn't believe how many groups of Calvardians were traveling by Orbal bus. I mean, I've never seen that many people before, not including our marching drills. Oh god. My pal Brood was stationed at Belgar Gate. I wonder how he's holding up. I've been friends with him ever since our days in Sunday school. I heard they had some trouble over there, so I can't help but wonder how he's doing. Understandable. Alright, so we are done here. So we could go back. 
We're done with Tangram Gate. So we could go... Oops. Crossbell City. And then we'll probably... We don't want to go to through Ursula. So we want to go... Probably north to mining. So mining is by the residential area. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes, so let's go to the mines village. Hey, can I get you something? Don't hold back now. Let me see you splurge. Come on. Daddy was in a bad mood yesterday, but he seems all right now. <laughs> I bet it's because I helped him around in the shop. Huh? This Is this a mining helmet? Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, given this is a mining town. Apparently, Guns and Marlow are going to stay in the city during the anniversary festival. They could do whatever, but an old man like myself would much rather take it easy in my hometown. I have not found anyone who give me a recipe yet. I'm a little... I'm like, where am I missing? If you take a good look at Hoffman today, you would never have guessed he was completely drunk last night. My husband can be quite a heavy weight if I do say so myself. Oh wait, I did think I did get a recipe. It was, uh, for... The popcorn. Woohoo! <laughs> That's the echo I was looking for. That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice. Yeah. I did not notice a scenery there. Wait, nobody's here! Oh! <gasps> Oh, I still can't go down there. But yeah, like, nobody's in the mines. What the? It's empty. Uh, let's see. Here. Oh, wait. I already was in here. I thought this was, uh, the inn, but it's not. This is the inn. Yesterday, the mining crew threw a big party. Sure, they had... They had me busy, but it was too much of a blast to complain. This inn is more blessed than it deserves. Where's the Sundari? There you are. Jeez, every day is demanding as the last. I don't see the charm of alcohol whatsoever. Maybe it's because I'm a, such a lightweight. I'm not exactly- That's not exactly the sentiment I'd expect from a waitress in a bar. Oh, it's not? Well, good thing I didn't ask, isn't it, sir? <laughs> look, look. Ah, that's the stuff. Drinking alone, right around noon, to one of the best things life has to offer. This is just iced tea, though. <laughs> I thought he was drinking alcohol! Oh, you're still here. Ugh, I wasn't able to get a wink of sleep, thanks to that racket coming from upstairs. I could barely think straight. Maybe I'll take today to recuperate. It appears this town's miners threw a drinking party lasting long into the night. It did not make my job easy. I was up late trying to get my lady to into bed and sleep. Oh! What the? Ugh, I'm never drinking again. J just leave me alone. Whoa. There ain't nobody here. Yeah, I think that was just reserved for us. Yep, nothing else here. How about you? I haven't been around many mining towns before, but I must say the scenery is pretty spectacular. And there's all sorts of odd doodads to, to look at, too. Overall, I'm glad I visited. Mayor's house. It may not seem so intensive, but my husband's job is just so demanding as the miners. Between managing excavation and all the mayoral duties... I think the Man Anniversary Festival is the perfect time to let him know how much of his hard work is appreciated. In honor of opening the Anniversary Festival, we held a grand party last night. Oh ho, you should have seen those youngsters in the mining crew dig into that feast. Yeah, instead of digging in the mines, they've been digging in the food. Everyone seems to enjoy themselves quite a bit. 
So I say it was a success. My dad ended up going to this mining crew parties. Oh my gosh, I think I have something in my mouth. I can't get it out. <laughs> My, my dad ended up getting into those mining crew parties at the bar yesterday. That's pretty unusual for him. Man, I'm jealous. Why couldn't he have taken me with him? My grandson thought it was a good idea to go to a drinking party last night, even though I thought he was a lightweight. And sure enough, he isn't able to drag himself home. Oh, I guess I'll walk over to the bar later to check out the damage. Wait, I didn't think I'd seen a person there before. And there's no miner here? Last night was an absolute blast! I got so wasted and I couldn't even remember how many drinks I downed. Since the anniversary festival, I don't mind how much of Max drinks, but I wish he showed a little bit more restraint. I just want to make sure he stays in good health. Alright, looks like we talked to everyone in town. I do want to check the doll place. Wait, did I talk to him? Most of the younger miners have gone to the city because of the anniversary festival. Those guys are always working so hard in the mines, so I'm glad they can let loose. Did I talk to you? I hear the opening day of Park and Sell's new show has lines stretching all the way to the administrative district. Leave to Ark and Sell star, Ilya Platier, to be able to attract that many people. Yeah, I'm gonna go see the doll studio and if I remember the doll studio is up here I hope I don't run into any monsters Ooh. please let me pick it up something on the ground tear bomb okay nice free free stuff I was hoping to kill them in one shot, but I guess not. No! Not like this. I probably should have used arts. I was thinking they were easier than that. Alright, can I take a picture? Gate is firmly shut. Keep out. Really? I'm not gonna be able to take pictures here? Now I gotta walk all the way back. Oh! Mirage 7, let's go! All right, nice, nice, nice. Oh, oops. Okay, we could definitely, like, we don't need, we don't need arts. <laughs> yeah, Randy's so buff. Five color Misa. All right, let's uh go back home. Uh, Crossbow City. So now we could take the, I think it's the west exit. Wait a minute. Do I remember this? I would like to purchase some gelato, mother. May I have my allowance? My husband told me I should relax and go look at the festival with our little Sunita. Words like that went over a lady's heart. With ease. That's why he's my husband. It's hard to reject a tempting offer like that. No. Alright, there we go. Um, so we could go to Belgar Gator the Police Academy. Let's check out the Police Academy real quick. And then we could go to Belgar Gate. Um Monster Egg. Nice. Uh is this the police academy? I don't know. Crossbell City. What is what is south? Huh?
Let's let's go south. Oh. Fish fillet. Wait, I I don't think I've ever seen that monster before. What the heck is that? Is that a palm? No, it's not. It's not a palm. Uh, apparently I've never fought this thing, so I don't know what that is. But, um, that's a Esper kit. <laughs> Barely gives any EXP, so really not worth fighting these guys. So it does look like I have been here for- oh! Okay! Uh, I guess not. Police Academy. For some reason, the music really reminds me of Mabinogi. Gives me old MMO vibes. Apparently, the commander is going out just to happen to be out in the entirety of the anniversary festival. Before leaving, he told us that all we're going to do is background check tours just to follow the warrant officer Mira Muriel's orders? He may have a point, but it would, would it kill him to act like a crossbow guardian force commander every so often? I just want to have a good night's rest. All these tours coming through here have worked us to death. Oh. We have a cutscene. What in the world is this? Huh? Was that there the other day? Let's take a little peek, shall we? Randy, is something wrong? This thing is one of the CGF's armored cars. Why is it here? On top of that, they went so far as to conceal it with this tarp. Conceal it is a bit much. It's barely hiding the thing at all. In fact, this is a half but attempt to hide the thing that's made him more conspicuous. Oh yeah, we didn't get support requests from someone at Belgar Gate? Maybe Armored Car has something to do with it. I believe that the request was in the search of a lost item. And as for the client, it was from Warrant Officer Muriel? Muriel, she was that blonde soldier we met before, right? Yup, that's right. She may be busy with work, but we should try asking her about the request. Perhaps you could casually bring up the armored car if you're so interested in it. Good idea. Alright, let's go pay her a visit. No, I should hurry and move out. I don't want to miss even a second of this year's anniversary festival. My entry inspection is finally over. That was a long queue that was hard to wait in, though. Well, off to Cosmos City now. Phew. I think the inspection line is finally starting to thin out now. There's been a lot of tours traveling on foot this year. I wonder why. They look- they took the train. They've already been in the city by now. Well, they are going for- to a festival, so maybe that's even more exciting to change things up. Even their means of transportation. Since yesterday, traffic coming through the gate has increased exponentially. Because of that, there's sure to be international spies like that have managed to slip into crossbells through the cracks. Is it really okay for us to brush the whole thing as something that can't be helped? Shouldn't we be more concerned? Yeah, it seems like this whole thing where it's like open to the public can definitely cause like an international accident. I swear, Stella grows, glows when she goes behind the counter. She's angelic! Alright, after I finish eating, I'll have to match her enthusiasm. Whenever I go sightseeing trips, I always have to check out the local cuisine. I wonder what kind of food awaits me at Crossbell. I had to work overtime because of the commander kept coming down on late night snacks, so I couldn't recover my fatigue, fatigue at all. I'm so busy. I have some business to take care of at Miss Lem during the festival. Hehe. <laughs> Well, it's only closing day, so I have time savoring what I can. My husband decided to bring me along on the special party he attends annually. Ho ho ho! He seems to be up to the brim with confidence, so I'm looking forward to this new experience. Hmm, that's definitely not under the counter. Yes? Feel free to relax as long as you'd like. Um, uh, how much 
much is it to to rest? Ugh, no, no, no. No, I I'm good. I'm good. Where the heck am I? Well, whatever. While I'm here, might as well explore. Oh my gosh, how did a kid get lost in a fortress? What the? <laughs> you should be here. Oh, come on! I couldn't have come up and disappeared. I don't find it soon. Yo, Marielle! How's my favorite CGF soldier doing? Nice to see you again, Morn Officer. Randy! And the rest of the special support section? What are you four doing here? Oh, right. It's about the support request I submitted, isn't it? Well, it's been such a rush, I nearly forgot about it. Uh, um, that's alright. I'm sure you must have been swamped with your work. Haha. <laughs> Classic Marielle. She puts on a serious face, but she's really not all there. I excuse me? Someone like you has no right to say that to me. Let's try to settle down, shall we? I know it's sudden, but would you mind explaining the request for us? The CGF wouldn't uh, be coming to us to help unless it really needed it, so I've been curious to learn all the details. Ahem. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Forgive me for losing focus for a moment there. So we've been searching the premises here at the Belgar Gate for a certain crucial item that's gone missing. Normally, we'd be finding it with our top priority, but as you can see, we're running short on manpower during the anniversary festival. That's why we decided to ask for assistance off the matter. Let me get more water. I have another bottle here. I think I understand the situation. So what exactly are we looking for? It's the key to the armor card that has been the Guardian Force just deployed. It's one of the newer models. Uh, a new model? Well, I heard rumors about it, so I take it that it's finally been deployed. I fail to understand why you have lost something so valuable. Let me guess. Commander? I suppose that wasn't a hard guess. It wasn't? How so? Well, it started yesterday. The commander threw an ex exclusive party in the Crossbell 70th anniversary. Over the course of the night, the commander drank so much more alcohol than he should have. And then he had one of the soldiers drive our new armored car to his party. Must have been trying to win over the higher-ups by showing off his shiny new ride. How very tasteless. Once the commander returned and had the car parked in the gate, he snatched the key from the driver. And later, it just vanished from his possession somehow. Now we can't move the car. We had no choice but to put a tarp over it in the last ditch effort to conceal it. I was wondering what was that doing outside. But was that really your best move? The tarp almost makes it even more conspicuous. Well, if they left the car as is, it would probably raise a lot of questions that they don't wish to answer. For example, why is the CGF's new heavy-duty armored car actively deployed inside the border gate? Good morning, Zerato! How are you? If the Imperial Army took it as a threat, I'm sure we we would have to be able to reason with them. Can't be serious. At the very least, we'd like to avoid any pro provocation at all costs. Is this new model really all that? You're good, you just woke up? Nice! Yeah, you have any plans for today? You know, Ricardo's... We've been using were pretty top of the line in terms of defense and mobility, if I remember right. Trust me, it is. The new model is an upgraded, more combat-oriented version of our old cars. It's equipped with Vulcan cannons, miniature missile pods, and even an entire overhaul when it comes to base firepower. If you inspected the CGF's entire arsenal, it would easily come up on top. No doubt about it. Ugh, gotcha. I agree with you, then. Leaving that out in the open sounds a bit too dicey. So, what exactly is this oh-so-wonderful commander right now, anyway? Is he still in his office, ain't it? Oh, this is still his office. It is, just he's away at the moment. He headed out this morning and left us to sort out this mess. He said he couldn't possibly call off all the sarays that he was hosting at the festival, and he flaked out on Crossbow's top police? I think not. Tch, sounds like him, all right. The more I hear about this commander, the less I'm eager to meet him. 
Anyway, we really wanted to move this armored car out of the public eye ASAP. Can you help us find the key? I'd be happy to help, Morn Officer. Really, thank you so much. Now, would you mind helping us retrace the commander's steps? Did he mention anything that might help us any leads? Let me think. If you want to hear what I was uh, able to get out of him this morning, I would be more than happy to share. That would suffice. When the commander returned, he had the armor car parked right inside the gate and he took the key from the soldier driving. And then I imagine he was craving a light snack to wash down all that alcohol. So he stopped by the mess hall and had one of his cooks make some, some food. Today I'll help with the bakery. Maybe shower the dog and then collab with Clock. Ayo, yo, you're, you're gonna collab with Clock? What game? Yeah. Bakery goods. Mm. Afterwards, he waltzed up to the roof and sung his heart out for quite a while. Once he finally tired himself out, he realized he had no idea where the key had gone. He sounds like a proper drunk. I think it would be a miracle if that came up in the rooftop at all, given his condition. Just another day in the life of that deadbeat. From what we just heard, we know for a fact that the key was lost during the gallivanting around the gate. If that's the case, we shouldn't have to worry about searching it anywhere other than Belgar Gate. I agree, Ellie. Well then. Alright. We should perform a sweep of the general area first. Who knows, we might be able to find some clues or some... Look, the key. Warren Officer Mar Muriel, would you like to accompany us with our search? <gasps> Aw, I'm afraid not. I would like to... I feel like I would just get in the way if I came along. I'll still be doing what I can find it, though. Starting from tearing apart the commander's office. Don't you worry about a thing. Even in the most desperate of situations, you can always count on old Randy to help out in a pinch. Jeez, I was really counting on you, Randy. So I hope you can liven up the, with, to that big talk. We should go ahead and commence our search for the key. Let's start by the armored car itself. Let's go! Whoa, one wrong step and I would have fallen far off of the canyon. This is freaking nuts. Yeah, it is freaking nuts. Push. <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna go take a look around here. In some empty rooms. It's gotta be here somewhere, right? Exclamation point doko. Doku Deska. <laughs> Since there aren't many women in the CGF, the few among us tend to draw a lot of attention. Deputy Commander Bales and Sergeant Mayor Seeker are both extremely beautiful, so it's even more problematic for them. Someday there's going to be a headline that reads, Interview with the most beautiful guardsman of the CGF. <sighs> How's the game going? It's going good! Right now I'm doing some side quests before main story. Uh, I'm looking for areas to take pictures of, but while I'm doing that, I'm doing some other side quests too, so if I come across them, it's- at least I'm not hunting for them. One of my friends, Burrell, is stationed over at Tangram Gate. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous of him. I've always been jealous of the things that are going to hit the fan there, and our commander is nowhere in sight. No key here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack to find this key. Doop doop doo. Did I talk to you? Since yesterday's traffic is coming through the gate, you increase it exponentially. Because of that, there's international spies. Oh yeah. I did read that. Uh let's see. So according to Marielle, the commander parked his car here and it has been moved since. I'd say at least search the area of the key, but I assume the CGF would have found it if it was actually here. That's a good point. It would be a waste of time to search the area again. Besides, since the cars whose bulky Vulcan cannons are on top, we can't exactly remove the tarp to take a closer look. Darn, I was kind of wanting to see this baby in all its glory. Randy, have you ridden in an armored car like this before? This model should be modified edition of the conventional armored car, so it should feel largely the same. Nah, it's just something I'm kind of curious about. 
they had permission to use him, I'm sure I would be super nice for a patrol or something like that. I bet Noelle would die of happiness. <laughs> I think you might be right. Huh? It looks like we have some visit more visitors from the Empire. Let's go check it out. Whoa, check out that car. Whoa, a limo? Oh, who owns this? Wait a second. Oh, visitors in the fine ladies and gentlemen of the special support section. Wait, can I take a look at this? Whoa, Limo, those Erebonians must sure be riding in style. It appears to be a rhyme for a company in limousine, custom made as well. Who owns this? Wait a second. Good day, everyone. I trust that Crossbow has been treating you well. Ah, you're the owner of the IBC. Uncle Dieter? It's been a while, sir. <laughs> it has been indeed. You have to forgive me. Did my arrival get in the way of your duties? Not at all. The guy is suave as ever, I see. Are you returning from a business trip by any chance, sir? <laughs> That's right. Negotiations in the Empire. But aside, hmm. Can't help but ask about that great big thing sitting behind you. Oh, oops. I guess it's hard not to notice. It's kind of a long story. See, allow me to make an educated guess then. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that must be one of the CGF's new armored cars or something, am I right? A nail on the head, sir. How did you... <laughs> did I caught you off guard? There's some simple explanation, I assure you. You see, at the party I attended yesterday, I ran into the CGF commander. He in his drunkenness mentioned something about a very car in one of his subordinates, I believe. I sat with him among multiple parties now, so I really do think that he should work on that drinking problem of his. That explains, that answers that. He must have left for the Empire directly after the party, correct? And if that's the case, you might have a clue what we're looking for. Hmm? What exactly do you mean? Allow me to explain. The SSS informed Dieter of the situation under their support request. Hello, Adio! How are you? I am doing good. I'm doing some side missions and stuff. Um, hopefully I will be able to get into some main story after I finish these side quests. I think I finished talking to everyone in town. The last place I need to check is the hospital, but other than that, I pretty much talked to everybody, so I'm doing some side quests now. But doing great. I think I'm starting to understand. It would certainly explain that there's an armored vehicle with mounted guns just sitting in the middle of a high traffic area. However, I'm afraid that I can't do much to help you at all. Like I said earlier, I had negotiations in the Empire today, so I had to leave the party pretty early in order to make it on time. In other words, by the time the commander made its way back to Belgar Gate, it was already long gone. Jeez, what a bummer. Guess all we could do is stick to retracing his steps. This may be presumptuous of me to ask, but... Can I give you a piece of advice I was given by Bell a long time ago? M Maria Bell gave you advice? Again, it was many, many years ago, but I had a habit of losing things. There was many, pro many projects I had to keep track of that I couldn't help but misplace a document here and there. Really? I wouldn't have guessed it, judging by how you act now. <laughs> I feel the part that I had to do with my still young and inexperienced at this time, too. Anyway, every time I would lose something, Belle would always be there to find it for me. And at each time, she would let out a great big sigh and tell me this. Father, how many times do I have to tell you? When you lose something, you have to look where you least expect it to be. Search unexpected places. Well, I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. In short, Belle was simply trying to tell me to change my perspective. Though I don't know how useful you would find all this advice, of course. No, sir, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know how much more I could help, but I hope you've been... that you will find what you're looking for. Oh dear, it seems I have gotten carried away with our conversation. I think my car is a bit of a nuisance, sitting in the middle of the gate like this. Well, if you excuse me. Oh, have a safe drive home, sir. Thank you, sir. 
until we meet again in the SSS. Never changes that guy. You know, he gave some pretty valuable advice. Change from perspective, huh? That's definitely something we forgot to think about. It might be the key to finding the sir uh, key. Now then, let's keep retracing the commander's steps and see where it takes us. I believe Warden Officer Mar Marielle told us that the commander parked the car. He went to the mess hall. Yeah, let's take our investigation there. I think when they said, do it where you least expected. Oh, I guess you can't initiate that again. Uh, let's go to the mess hall. I thought this was the mess hall. Where's the... It's the mess hall then. Eh... Mess hall, mess hall, mess hall. Not here? Not here. Not here. Did you find anything? I tend to be... To thoroughly search the commander's office for the key. You weren't the cause of this mess, but that doesn't make it any less important. I would do my duty, whatever it may be. Mess hall. I assume the mess hall was the... Uh, downstairs. Here. Maybe if I talk to you? Oh! Yo, Stella. Keeping yourself busy? Oh, Randy. Funny seeing you here. Were you wanting to order something? Not exactly. We're searching for the armored car's key, as per Warren Officer Mariel's request. Oh, so you guys are the ones who got stuck with that? The Warren Officer already asked me to look around. I come through the mess hall high and low, but it's nowhere to be found. I suppose we can ma mark the mess hall off our list then. We are in the process of retracing the commander's steps. You mind recounting what you witnessed last night? Sure, I don't mind. First day of the anniversary festival was incre incredibly hectic here. I was finally winding down from the craziness the day when the commander stormed here, utterly wasted. All of a sudden, he yelled at me to cook something that would sober him up so that I would be forced to work overtime. <sighs> and because of that, I wasn't able to get around any of the prep work I needed to do for today. Wow, he sounds pretty terrible. Oh, for sure. Guy swaggers around like he owns the place, but he doesn't do a lick of actual work. Sounds like he's the complete opposite of Deputy Commander Bales. Excuse me. Would you I know if he had any of the key with him when he was eating this meal? Beats me. I only heard about him being lost when I woke up this morning, so I'm afraid I wasn't really paying attention. Is that so? Hmm, so there's no way of knowing whether he had the key here or not. What's everyone doing gathered around the mess hall? Good timing beyond. These people are, um, are helping the CGF recover the key or whatever. Nice to meet you. We're the special support section. Oh yeah? I've heard about about you all. Nice to meet you too. I kind of need help with some stuff. Oh, what do you need help with? Sorry, I, I was not paying attention very well with the chat. Uh, you needed help with something. Hey, Beyond. Still the same military uh, buff as always? Afraid so. It's been a while, Randy. So, Beyond. Did you end up finding the key? You know, the one about the warrant officer told us about? After giving a quick search, I could safely say that it isn't in the inn. Pretty sure the commander didn't even bother heading there after his meal anyway. Sorry, but... What do you mean, pretty sure? Were you at the inn last night? Imagine you would know whether he came in or not, right? I'd finished my work for the day by then, so I was actually taking a break in the roof when he got back. Wait, hold on. Do you remember something? Yeah, passing by him, I was leaving the roof. And if I'm not wrong, I remember him spinning around something that looked like a keychain. That must have been the key you're looking for. But that means it's extremely likely that the commander had the key up until he headed the roof, leaving the mess hall. It bothers me that he would act so nonchalant about something so important. I don't know which one to choose. Oh wait, uh, there's something to do with art style. I'm trying to find my own art style, but I kind of go into so many different art styles. Oh, that's easy. So... What you could do is, like, you can draw in multiple art styles. You don't have to stick with one as, um, um, as your specific art style. There's people who go, like, you want me to draw an art style A or B kind of thing. And 
Yeah, you could go like super, um, what is it? Stylized or like um, more of Art Nouveau kind of art style for uh, art and stuff. If, if you don't know what Art Nouveau is, like a lot more detailed. But um, you, could, you could do both. You could do like all the art styles you want to do and you could just go like swap around between the two. And whatever one seems more fun for you to draw, you could continue with that. Or you could just continue with all of them. It's basically like after a while, um, uh, you'll start like drawing in the art style that you prefer to draw more. Maybe one that maybe garners more attention, more, more well liked than the other and stuff. And you might end up leaning on that one instead of the other. So yeah. It's good to experiment and try things and um, what you see is more successful for you, either more fun or it gets better attention, uh, you should go with it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember going through, I think my art style was a little bit more steady. All I knew is that I wanted my art to look like a visual novel. S since I really liked the visual novel art style, I wanted my artwork to look more visual novel-like. But um, if you are having trouble with like which one you like, like super stylized or um, visual novel or like like manga style and stuff, you could try them all. You could try them all, and then like you you can mishmash all the art styles together of all your favorite parts in it, unless it doesn't work together. I certainly agree. But at least we picked up a valuable statement. <laughs> Good thing that memory of yours finally kicked in, eh? But better late than never, right? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Do you realize how much time I wasted searching the mess hall because of you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, I think about the time to head back to work. See you later, Stella. <laughs> he ran. Well, thanks to him, we finally got ourselves a solid lead. Thanks for all your help too, Stella. Randy's right. Even though you only knew about it, it wasn't in the mess hall, that narrowed down our list of potential hiding places significantly. You're welcome. Well, I'm not even sure how important this key is, but please find it, not just for the CGF's sake, but for Warren Officer Mar Muriel's. We'll do our best, I promise. Now, is our next destination the roof? Let's go to the roof! Alright, is it here? Nope, okay. Well, we made it to the roof. According to Warren Officer Muriel, the CGS commander sung his heart up out up here. I imagine that it took a while to climb the stairs while he was under the influence. Yes, but our biggest issue is that he doesn't remember where exactly he misplaced the key. If he were to lose it anywhere, this would be the place. Let's try searching it for a while and see where it takes us. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. I think I see something. This is just a lid for a juice can. We should probably dispose of it. That tunnel leads to Erebonia, right? That's right. More specifically, that tunnel in the fortified mountain base above ahead are comprised of Garia Fortress. As the Empire's easternmost stronghold, it's used to keep Carvard in check. Seeing this up close, I can't help but feel incredibly intimidated by the Empire. <laughs> can't blame you for feeling that way, Teotot. After all, the mountain's hiding two of the Empire's scariest weapons, the railway guns. Ooh, I remember that. No problem, Adio! Yeah, I remember the railgate way guns. I remember one got shot in the beginning of, uh, what was it? Trails of Cold Steel? I remember one of them got used. And the main character was like, no! <laughs> but I don't uh, know what exactly happened. I'm sure you have. They're the pride and joy of the Imperial Army. Their ultimate weapon of mass destruction. Heard one of those bad boys fire 80 reach shells. Interesting. So those are the battle weapons developed by the Ryan Ford Company. 
Two years ago, tensions between the Empire and the Republic have finally reached a breaking point. While both countries began to conduct large-scale military exercises, the wall over there opened, revealing their two enormous railway guns. Weapons that have the capacity to hit Crossbell City if Erebonia were to unleash them. Tragedy would be unavoidable. The Crossbell Times would never have mentioned those if I were living in Calvard. I never knew those things were unstable at the time. So, Lloyd is from Calvard. I think I, they mentioned it before, but I'm like still surprised that he's actually from Calvard. Well, as you can see, they got their own trump cards thrown away in tow. Might as well owe Liberty and Queen non-aggression pact thanks for that. Definitely. I had heard that she was an admirable person, but I have a newfound respect for her now. Looks like we got sidetracked, so we should continue our search for the key. Oh, what's that sparkle? Just a ten mare coin. Did the commander accidentally drop it when he was up here? You think the key's up in the roof? Oh, and Dolly and I, and I searched the entire roof front to back, but we came up with zilch. But hey, we might have overlooked something, so you better luck searching than we did. Uh, last night, Commander came up here and couldn't stop singing. Lolly, I might add. I was hoping to get some rest from our laborers, but that didn't happen. Okay. Oh. Wait, is that it? It's just a piece of wire. Where'd that key have gone? Oh, I don't see it anywhere. Well, at the very least, we know for a fact the commander was up here. True. We might have made a mistake to assume he dropped the key on the roof. <gasps> I have an idea. If you have the key, if that were the case, the guardsman would have found it immediately. Considering how Mr. Cruz had told us earlier, we might have to change our perspective of the entire thing. It's only a possibility if the key were to fall in place where we can't normally reach. Let's investigate every nook and cranny of this place one more time. No, I know where it is. 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 It should be up here, right? Where? Oh my gosh, I thought it was up here. Man, I thought I was cooking. Hm? Lloyd? What's the matter? I see it! No! How the heck did it end up on a place like that? Given its true location, I'm not surprised that they were unable to find the key no matter how much they scoured the gate. For now, let's warn the uh, let the warrant officer know. We should be able to reach it with the ladder. Hopefully, they'll have one around here we could borrow. Right, let's go find her. I think you were looking for this. Randy handed the key to the armored car over to Mariel. Explained how they found it. It seriously ended up in a place like that. I would have never found it then. That probably happened. Uh. What probably happened is that your commander dropped it while he was singing on the roof. <sighs> that aside, I'm just relieved that you were able to find it. Thanks to you, we will finally move that armored car someplace where the tourists won't stumble across it. I guess I'm in your depth this time, Randy. Don't worry about it. But if you really want to make things even, how about going on a date with me? It'll be a good time. I don't know what I was expecting. Idiots never change, do they? Well, thank you for everything, SSS. You're welcome. If you ever need anything from us, all you have to do is submit a support request. I'll keep that in mind. Now, if you excuse me. Case closed, eh? Hey! Case closed! I suppose so. I wasn't sure we would find the key for a second there. <laughs> if a stranger picked it up, I don't know what we could have done. Considering that it was dropped, I'd say we got lucky. I'm inclined to agree. Incidents like this are avoided if the commander was a bit more observant. He's always been incompetent. 
uh, J.A. <laughs> who only thinks about himself, even back when I was stationed here. If we didn't find that key, Mariel would probably would have taken the heat for losing it. That man is hopeless. No denying that. Still, at least we were able to get more people like the deputy commander and the warrant officer to do honest work in the CGF. I like to think that most of the guardsmen are following suit despite everything. Good point, Lloyd. Well, time to head out? Yeah, let's go. Let's go! We finished another quest. So? Yep, so we found that. We could turn that in. Um. Yeah, she wants at least five images. So we got that. Um, is there another place we could go visit? Nope. Let's uh, look around Crossbell City to see if there's any places we can take pictures. But I don't think there's any memorable places here. But I'm sure the fountain is a good place to take a picture, right? But that's not a fountain, that's a, a big bell. Valley? No? How about Entertainment District? Hmm, I was hoping to be able to take a picture here, but I guess not. Scenic views. Hmm. I guess this is not considered really scenic because everybody sees this place. Hmm. Yeah, I know one more scenic place, but other than that, I don't know any more scenic places to view. Unless we go through, we hike through the whole trail and stuff where all the monsters are. Which, I do know one place. Hello, SS! Uh, Station Street. So I'm not gonna go to St. Ursula. I'm going to... Probably go to the halfway point. And where I want to go is to... I went to Comic-Con yesterday. Oh my gosh! Nice! Oh my gosh, I wish I could see a map. What is this? There's something on the ground. I thought that was a uh, something scenic. <gasps> I didn't see this. Yeah, and I got some free stuff from there and took a lot of photos. Oh, that's cool. Did you cosplay? Be quick. Wait, there we go. Oh, nice! That's a new one. Yeah, Toby from oh, uh, from Naruto. That's cool. Nice. Did you go to some? Oops, <laughs> I gotta focus. Um, uh, any panels? <laughs> Alright, is it gonna be another catfish? Oh, snow cat. Nice. Uh, I could probably try the feather. Fishing! Yeah, there's fishing in this game. A tiny fish with a better rod. Okay. <laughs> uh, looks like there's nothing else here. I'm trying to find the scenic routes. Because I need to take photos. But I also need to find... Um, 
a monster extermination. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I went to an art area for floor two. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Is this, uh... So much. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'll hydrate. Make sure to pull up a guy for fishing. Oh, wait, really? Oh, snap. Wait, did you... Oh, yeah, you did play this game. Yeah, I'll have to uh, take a look at that. I didn't know there was fishing tournaments in this. I'm probably gonna have to look at a guide so I'm not wandering too much uh, for taking photos. Because I'm trying to find. Oh, is this. Oh, th no picture. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at a guide of like where to take pictures. Doesn't it get tough taking care of such big hordes? Don't worry. I have someone who, like, even though if I can't clean, I have trouble like maintaining them myself. I have. Um, People can, who could help me maintain it. <laughs> yeah, I looked up a side quest guide. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that too. Let me look at what the name of the, the quest is called. Yeah, this, this one is a lot harder than I expected it to be. The many famous views of Crossbell. All right. I'm trying to alt tab. Is, is my hands up? Oh my gosh, my hands are up. <laughs> Whoops. Sometimes I cannot tell that my hands are up. Alright, uh... Okay, it's called Trails from Zero. Uh, the many famous views crossbow. Alright, so Amaroka... Oh, gotta go to Amaroka Road? Uh, we go to Amaroka Village, so I saw that one. There's Ursula Road, Map 1, Crossbell Cathedral, Graveyard. Okay, that one's an easy one. Okay, I'm gonna... Oops. Oh my gosh, I didn't know I could use my... My... PlayStation 4 controller as a mouse? What the? <laughs> I accidentally triggered it like a mouse. Because there's also a hidden side quest. Oh, you did? Well, luckily I'm talking to everybody, so when I do come across hidden side quests, I have been doing them. Because I did find one hidden side quest. Alright, so let's see if I could go... Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo! Oh! No! Take care of them! Yeah, I also have encountered a lot of funny dialogue just because of like I've been talking to everyone and also getting the um what is it? Uh recipes. Uh let's see. Crossbell City. Roadmap one. So if I go here and to the river. Can I? Can I take a picture in the river? I'm sorry for scaring you guys. Is it here? Whoa! Wait, I didn't even notice this place. So is this this big old body of water is Lumpius River, eh? What's this big floaty thing all the way in the middle supposed to be? I'm going to guess there's some old ruins. The database contains no details either. Only information I found was that the entry is prohibited. I can't speak of the ruins' origins, but I've heard that people refer to it as the matchmaking shrine. If a man stands on the left of the observation platform and a woman on the right, they could give their vows and live happily ever after. Uh, I don't know about that, mademoiselle. That's kind of like an old wise tip. Alright, I'll hydrate. Alright, so I'm gonna take a I wonder if this will come up in Azur. Oh, is this hinting Azur? 
bet we could take a great photo of this area for Grace's article. Will you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. Ooh, that should do it. Good job, Ellie. Seems like things went well. With that, shall we get going? Nice. So we got that photo. Uh, we could go to Crossbow Cathedral, which should be very easy to get to. Uh, to the residential district. And then we're gonna go to the graveyard. This is a safety hazard if I've ever seen one. There ain't even a fence here. I really doubt anyone would be standing on the edge of a club like this in the first place. I mean, if they want to see their loved ones again, they would. <laughs> Look, you can see the bottom of the valley from here. Quite the drop, isn't it? If you stare too long, it starts to feel like it's sucking you down to into it. It's not a very pleasant feeling. This is the cemetery, after all. Are you winning, son? I sure am. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating because I'm looking at a guide. Ooh, it says if I look at all nine locations, I earn three DP. <gasps> oh, I guess I'm going to look at all of them. I want to see them all. Perhaps uh, from the other side is beckoning you to join them. Did, did you really have to phrase it like that, Teal? Uh, putting that aside, the spa would make a nice photo for Grace's article. Would you like to do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. Phew, that should do it. Good job, Ellie. Seems like things are going well. With that, shall we get going? All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to Old America Road. South of the gate. Okay, so we're gonna go to America Village and we're going to just go to the town. So it is East Street. Cheating in this good Christian Minecraft server. Hey, yo, yeah it is. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, so we have, whoa, crazy. Here is spot along the fence south of the gate. South of the gate. Fence, fence, fence. Wah! That was a close one. Spot along. Oh my gosh, where where can I find it? Along the fence, south of the gate. Yo, what? South of the gate? Huh? Okay, if I go, if I keep going down, maybe? <laughs> Snap! What are these? Oh, these are just damn. I hate these things. Ugh. Oh, they blow up. At least they don't do that much damage. Stay away from me! Uh, this is south, but this is not south enough. I could go more south than this. Uh... Oh. 
Uh, ooh. Barrage Seppin. Um, nothing here. I guess we could go even more south. But this is the most south I could go and I don't see anything. What? Ruins of an ancient battlefield are beyond here. Entry is strictly prohibited. Uh, I don't see anything. Maybe I misread that. Map one. Spot along the fence south of the gate. This is map one. Wish I knew how to make this bigger. I guess I'm not gonna get that 3 TP. <laughs> uh, let's see. Crossbell Beach. You know what? Maybe another way of. How the heck? Old Amaroka Road. Maybe this is Road 3. This is not Road. No! I'm doing it at least for the Sabbath. It won't be a waste. Please, I want... It's supposed to be along the fence south of the gate. Great. There's nothing but the great outdoors around here. I've only heard Crossbot has technological metropolis, so I wasn't expecting such a treat. As soon as I found out, I had to splurge on a brand new orbital camera. I didn't even know people were here. I heard this big hunk of metal is called a vending machine. Apparently, if you need to feed this thing mirror and press a button, a drink will come out and wow, the future is here. Don't tell me someone's hiding that thing. Whoops, accidentally dozed off for a second. Can you blame me, though? No. Look at the perfect weather this is. I love how warm it is. I might accidentally take a small nap. This is one beautifully built rest area. Anybody unaccustomed to traveling would be deeply appreciative of this. Huh? What do you mean they're growing in that field over there? Probably fruits, right? Maybe it's vegetables? I'm more of a fruity guy myself. Oh, there's a fishing spot here? Well, I don't have any more bait, so I can't really do much about it. This is one of the destinations along Cross Valley and Sightseeing's tour. <laughs> Everybody at the tour has been having a great time, myself included. I think I know where I need to go, and it's probably the big fence area where I had the extermination. This should be one, I, I'm guessing, but it's, there's no fence. That's the thing. Is it this place? South? Maybe I have to take a picture out here. Uh, a spot along the fence south of the gate. Oh, there it is! Oh, there it is! So you know that I had a chance to soak the sights on this rural scenery. It's so, so lovely. You could say that again. Didn't have much of a chance to really check it out last time. With all of the monsters that we had to take down, I suspect this location will provide a perfect setting for a countryside picnic. Whatever it is likely that the monsters would make it difficult to enjoy. Still, though, I bet it's very, really, 
Ugh. I can't read. <laughs> I hate that I can't read. Still though, I bet it's a really fun to drive down this road. I imagine this view is familiar sight to traders like Mr. Hayworth to travel all over the state. I'm sure it is. Then we can take a great photo of this area for Grace's article. Will you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. Phew, I think that should do it. Good job, Ellie. Well, it seems like things went well. With that, shall we get going? Okay, so I was right about Stargazer's Tower is another place, because that's where I was trying to go, but I don't know how to go to Stargazer's Tower. What? Okay, so we can go to... We already went to Crosswell Cathedral. Main's Mountain Path. Okay. Um... Where is... Here you are. We go back to Crossbell City. We're gonna go to Main's Mountain Path. Between the bridges and in front of the waterfall. Oh, I remember that place. Alright, so we want to go to... No, wait! That's not the place. It's called the Residential. Zoom! Alright, and we're gonna go to the Mining Village. It should be around here. Oof! Uh, what's this? Oh god. Wah! What is this? It's an old mine. Gate is friendly shut. Wah. So I'm guessing we're going to go through there someday. Oh. Oh. How strong are these? Um, we need to do fire. I think it was fire and what else? Oh, those are not weak to that at all. Fire water. Okay, so blue hammer. And then you could do your magma blaze, which is gonna do a ton of damage. Do your worst. Oof. That was very unfortunate. Fresh milk. Uh, nope. Yeah, stay away. Ugh. It should be here. Okay, wrong way, wrong way. As much as I want to run away, I do need the Sabbath. Wind Seppet. What is this? Uh, Earth Weakness. Come to the circle. Fish fillet. Where is this waterfall? Uh, I don't want to fight these things. I'm sorry. Couldn't flee. No. I attempt again. Run. I just want to go through this quickly. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay, it's only one. It's not hard. Uh, fire. Kudo. Goodbye. Well, I almost ran into that. Alright, um, there it is. <gasps> this is what I was looking for. Uh, I saw it. The sight never becomes any less impressive, especially when we are this close up. Yes, this is Crossbell's landmarks. You would be hard pressed to find a waterfall this grand in another country. I bet. It gives off a soothing vibe. Next time someone talks about cleansing their heart and mind, I know exactly where to send them. Should we mediate after under the waterfall? We could do alms and everything. They say med meditating under a waterfall while well, only wearing a loincloth can help you reach true enlightenment. That sounds a bit dangerous to me. I think I'll pass. I'd rather vomit than picture you in a loincloth. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on, Tio Tot. Don't be shy. Putting that idea aside, the spa would make a nice photo for Grace's article. Would you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. Phew, I think that should do it. Good job, Ellie. Seems like things went well. But with that, we managed to meet Grace's five-picture photo quota. Let's run by these by her when we get the chance. I think I'm gonna see if I could get all nine photos. Uh, so we did... Gospel... Did we do Ursula? Ursula is the south one, so I think it got counted, yeah. So we just have to go to the West Crossbell Highway next. The railing overlooking the train tracks. I'm gonna have to see what that is. Um, is there... Oh my gosh, I could have taken the easy route. No! I'm so silly. Alright, so we're here. We go to West Crossbell. Did we go through this already? Overlooking the train tracks. Okay. So it's number three. Which way is Crossbell Highway? It's this way. So we want to go over the ones that shows the train tracks. <gasps> this is it! Oh! The Transcontinental Railroad. Yep, that thing connects to Erebonia to Calvard, all while running smack dab through the middle of Crossbell. Darn impressive if you think about that. Freight trains are used to transport goods in and out of state. Maybe it's just to say that the railroad symbolizes modern day Crossbell. It's too bad that we have to take a picture of the train to give to Grace. It would have made it through something really spectacular. Hmm? What's up, Tio? It would seem that the train is approaching after all. W wait, seriously? That's freaking sweet, man! I think it's time for our picture perfect moment, Mademoiselle. G get the camera, Ellie! Oh, okay! It goes. Phew, I think that might have been the first time I've ever seen a moving train up close and personal like that. How'd it go, Ellie? Well, it was a moving object, but it was a bit- I was a bit rushed, so I think I'll, it'll get the job done. Oh, really? Well, you managed to pull the camera out pretty quickly, so we owe you one. Anyway, let's get a move on. Alright, next stop, we are going to Stargazer's Tower. I just need to remember where Starcaser's tower is. Don't mind me.
All right, so we have to go to Station Street. And we're gonna go to the sandbar. And if I remember correctly, I wish there was directions. Alright, Stargazer's Tower is above. Okay, so we're gonna go north. Alright, and it should be to the right. Alright. Oh god, it's the gorillas. And the, the jalapenos! <laughs> I fear jalapenos! Oh god, there they are. Gorillas. Oh god. Look at that dancing jalapeno! Oh, uh, what is your weakness? Heart. Yikes! That is a deadly jalapeno. What did I just witness? What did I just witness? Oh god. Uh, fire. Fire and earth. And then you're gonna do some magma blaze action. Wait. Okay, I thought that Lloyd lost all his EP. Okay, good, good, good. It was just the CP that was low. Uh... Okay, let's do fire. Yikes. Please. Please. Nice. Alright, we're gonna have you do... Okay, she cannot do a crap. Uh, you could do... Tira. Nice. Not a lot of EXP, as I would like it to be. Oof, I'm so close. It's very hard to see my way around here. Alright, we're in Starcaser's Tower. Nice. Starkazer's Tower. It's been a while since we fought in here. On second glance, this place is sure is beautiful, isn't it? From the outside, absolutely. From the inside, not so much. Oh, I need to check out the inside. Because I have not opened a lot of chests in there. Would it not be wise to conduct an investigation of the entire tower someday? Leaving mysteries like that this unchecked always leaves an unsavory taste in my mouth. Considering the place is under CGS's juris jurisdiction, it might be easier said than done, Teo Tot. On top of that, you'd have to get the permission of a... a dumb A <laughs> who would not get anything that would get him a promotion. Well, with these problems to deal with, we'll never get bored. Anyway, this is a I will make a great photo for Grace's article. Would you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. Phew, I think that should do it. Good job, Ellie. Seems like things went well. With that, shall we get going? Yeah, I want to see... I remember I did not grab all the chests here, so I kind of want to go in here and do that. Whoa, mystical. Yeah, there is some chests I have not opened. I'm gonna take a look and try to grab some of them. Whoa. I 
Can I go this way? Can you take a look? Yikes! Yikes! You are blocking the way, sir. Uh... Uh... Is this upstairs or downstairs? Oh, this goes... Oh... So there was two ways to go to right. Alright. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's see, what is your weakness? Your weakness is... What is that? I forget what that is. Well, certainly he does not have it. <laughs> I think it's time. Uh, its weakness is time. But you have Soul Blur. Oh god! Not fun! Oh, you have Dark Matter! Nice! No, you're out! Well, this is actually getting proper EXP for um, Randy, so that's good. I mean, proper EXP for everybody, because this place is within our level. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, so... We only have one character that could do proper damage to this. Yikers! What is this? Uh, same thing. Oh my gosh, that's a crazy amount! Seven hundred. A sedative? What is this? Oh, I remember this part. Wah. Okay, I did go here before. Well, I'm going. It's going crazy. Wah. Screaming. Oh. Okay, I didn't have a choice there. Um. I think soul blur for this guy. He else. Okay, um. Normal attacks. You could just support everybody. <gasps> okay, uh, recover. Revive. Uh, we should probably do an S break. Alright, let's, uh, get healed. Who has the most EP? Uh, that would be... you! We're almost where I accidentally went too early to leave. <gasps> nice! Oh, this is what I was missing. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, ooh, chest. <laughs> okay, we gotta prep ourselves with this one. Support. A reflex. An art reflex. Generates a barrier which reflects. Uh, let's do... Let's do Cress. No, wait. She, she can't do the AoE Cress. No! Lorelei. All sleep. Echoes the spirit song to deep sleep. 
He has a lot of healing skills, which is nice. So I think what she could do is just do the soul blurs. Yeah. Alright, can you do supports? Yes, you could do the crest. Chrono Dive and Saint. Oh. Alright. Oh god. No! I'm sorry, Ellie. You're gonna get left out. Alright, I'm gonna give you... Nice. Nice! Alright, everybody's uh, stacked up. Oh no, confusion! Uh, I'm not ready for a heal yet. So blue. Can't really do anything here. So... Probably a normal attack. Oh, <gasps> no way! Alright, let's break. I should have healed. I mean, not healed, I should have saved. Oh, I wouldn't want to find those locations again. One more soul blur. Where did Ellie go? She just, oh, there she is. I was like saying she got deleted from the game. Okay, we're out of. Um, we are out of EP. Hello, Mackie. Hello, hello. All right, we are going to recharge it on. You? We're gonna need someone to AoE heal, which Ellie cannot do. She's gonna have to keep doing some EP charges. Um, wait, what is this? Earth Pulse. Regen. Uh, no, we want Breath. That's what we want. This game reminds me of Fire Emblem. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Except, like, when they die, they're not dead forever. <laughs> it's like, oopsie, they died. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, we're gonna do this. Be guarded. Nice. Uh, you're gonna go heal with the breath. Yeah. Uh, who needs to heal? You know what? I'm just gonna heal them. When I die, I die forever. No, my <laughs> No, that's your disappearing. Picking the W. Oh, that's a lot of EXP. Holy chain. Let's just say that if you kill 777 shining palms and come back here, you will find this chest still empty. Ah. <laughs> uh... Thanks a lot. Oh god. Yikes. Let's do the soul blur on this guy. Nice. Oh, 
We can do this. Nice. Is that Star Rail? <laughs> yeah, it does have a system similar to Star Rail. But I still think this is more similar to Fire Emblem. Star Rail update. I I think this would have had like worse graphics than normal Star Rail. <laughs> this is the seventh floor. Oh, you know what? Seeing the the scenery here, I could see why you would think this looks like Star Rail. What's this. Oh, do I have to go all the way back down? I wish there was some some item I could use to just, like, teleport away. Because I don't want to go through this whole thing again. I think I do. Oh, God. Surely, it's Genshin Impact. I feel like I played this before, really. I've been lurking, don't mind. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, wrong way. Run. <laughs> No, not me! You froze me! Scenery looks familiar. Really... I want to play Fire Emblem. Yeah, Fire Emblem is so good. I love Fire Emblem. I would love to play it with like classic mode where like if they die, they die forever kind of thing. But I would only do that for New Game Plus rather than... Um, a game I've never played before because I want to experience the story as it is if like none of the characters died and then I would play it again um for like the first time. Well Eevee too. And loving memory of Daniel Scott Tijerina, our fallen hero who has been exemplified in the indomitable spirit of Crossbell. Oh why well, dodge that I didn't even think I would. I feel like playing the GB1 A ones like uh what is it? Oh god I did not see these before I've never played three houses oh three houses is so good kind of uh what is it gave me like what is it like it made me fall in love with Fire Emblem all over again. It's like a love letter for Fire Emblem. Yeah, do it! Where's Lloyd? <laughs> what the heck? Where did Lloyd go? Oh, Lloyd's the Oh my gosh, I think that's a glitch. He just straight up disappeared. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save. Because I don't trust this box. Uh, no, I'm not opening this. I'm only level 20, and it says there's level 40 monsters in there. What is this? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, good thing I read. Not doing that. That looks like death. Oh, what is this? I don't own a switch well. He's just being sneaky. Zrom Zaddy. <laughs> yeah, Felix. Oh, yes, I love Felix. Uh, Chrom too. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of Fire Emblem Echoes? That one's another cool one. It's like, um, it has the graphics of Fates. But it, you could actually like run around the map and stuff and explore. Yeah, Echoes is hype. Yeah, I need to finish that game. 
Thank you for reminding me. Sadly, I don't think I could ever stream it because I don't feel like um, homebrewing my 3DS and then also handing it to somebody to put a jack on it so that I could connect it to my PC. That would, um, sounds very tedious. <laughs> Oh god, they guarded. <laughs> there's probably a tutorial. Yeah, I know, there's a tutorial for it, but I don't feel like doing it because, like, permanently change the concept of your 3DS forever, pretty much. It turns into a, uh, a computer. <laughs> There's other people that are willing to do it. I'm I'm just not willing to. <laughs> At first I thought I was like, oh, homebrewing sounds cool. Until I actually found out what homebrewing does. And I was like, ah, never mind. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Alright, uh, you can't recover. That's a big rip. Uh, let me take an item and just do a tear bomb. <laughs> Lloyd disappeared again! And this time I actually saw it with my own eyes. I own a 2DS. Never done that. Don't think I will. Yeah! I forgot a 2DS was a thing. I think Steam has Fire Emblem. A Fire Emblem game. Oh, it does? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you're gonna see that it's gonna be paused for a bit. Let me see. Fire Emblem. No, they don't have Fire Emblem on Steam. Unfortunately, they don't. <laughs> I'm literally coping. Yeah, I think they had, um, what was it? They had Landgrisser? They probably have that. Which is basically like Fire Emblem. It's from the same creators of Fire Emblem. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Can I actually do no damage to these guys? What the? Alright, so you can't do anything. Uh, let me revive... Fellas, wake up, fellas. And I, you, you have holy breath. Ooh. Oh snap! You have holy breath. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Um, I think you're better off doing the craft though. Oh wait, I did something stupid. Magic is not going to do anything. Nice. Okay. Holy, holy, holy breath, Pog. I don't know what it does. Holy breath does uh, a large heal in a large area. And I did not have any other characters who had holy breath. Ooh, stamp jumpers. What do you say when you divine wolf sneezes? Gazhoundzite. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Took a few years off my life there. All right, we're out of here. We are out. We are leaving. No more. What level am I? Uh, I am level 22, so I can't do the one chest that has level 30 monsters yet. That's gonna be a while. What the? I gotta go back to the bus stop. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Ugh. They are chasing me. I am lost. Did I go the wrong way? Please, no, I am going the wrong way. I am directionally challenged. Okay, this way. The jalapeno is chasing me. Wait, what is this? Ah! Don't worry, I'm even more lost. <laughs> Oh wait, we can do this. Oh god. That was very poor. Oh, another battle. Okay, what's in here? We have water. So we're gonna do some blue hammer. It's hammer time. Stop him! Oh, we're about to level up. What is in here? Level 25? No. We are three levels under, but we're close. But still, no. Maybe if I was one level under, I would do it. But not... Not three levels. Alright, so we're almost to the bus stop. What's this? We could probably defeat it in one shot? Maybe not. Yeah, these were too easy. Too easy. Alright, there's the bus stop. Phew! Alright, so next location we gotta go to. We finished the West Crossbell Highway. Um, now we go to the Moon Temple. Just before the fence and the end of the... Where is Moon Temple, huh? Moon Temple. Where is that? Mines Mountain Pass. Huh? Okay, let's uh go to the Mines Mountain Path then. I have never seen the Moon Temple. What? We're trying to get all these locations. Um, I think it should be the Doll Studio. That would be the. Moon Temple. I think I've reached every location there is for it, right? Uh, let's see. Should... Okay, there's a doll studio. Crossbell Cathedral. Oh! I think I know where it is. Please don't, don't hit me. I, I'm fragile. Ah! Run, 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 run. How to flee? No! You run. Run. Okay. We went past it. What? What? It was in there? Okay, so we have to find it somewhere in here. It can't be up here. So it has to be a route down here. I don't think I've ever been here before. Whoa. Ugh. What is this?
I felt that vibration when it hit me. Okay, so fire. Fire bolt! What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I forgot that. I don't know, it's like. Realizing the small things, like, oh yeah, this. My controller vibrates when it, it gets hit. Right, so not down there. Take care of it. Yikes. Such exotic monsters, yeah. Let's go, we got some level ups. Ellie learned Cross Mirage. What is Cross Mirage? Um, large area steps forward and shoots down each target. Ooh. Wait, I was- I hit you! You didn't hit me! You're not the one who got surrounded, you were. I mean, I wasn't the one that got surrounded. Right, let's see. Oh, there it is! Oh my gosh! What is... What is with these ruins? They look... Dilip... Dilipated. I think it's the ruins of the temple built during the Middle Ages. Whatever the details are, the CGF doesn't want anyone entering judging by the barricade. Same as Stargazer's Tower. No reason to go trespassing. Still quite the view, isn't it? Hmm, I wonder if we could take a good photo of this area for Grace's article. Will you do the honors, Ellie? Okay, leave it to me. Yeah, I think that should do it. Good job, Ellie. Seems like things went well. With that, shall we get going? Oh, I gotta go walk all the- Is there really no item? I see. Item to teleport. There are in battle items. Smoke grenade. Fling battle. Not- Oh my gosh, this whole time I had a battle scoop. I don't have to use analyze every single time. Yeah, I don't have anything to teleport me, so I have to actually walk the whole way. Oops. Why? Your skill is weaker than... Weaker than Randy. Oh god! Yeah, Randy's skills AoE. And the fact that he does more damage than Lloyd does, that's insane. Okay, zoom, 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 zoom. Oh no! Didn't see these guys. The plants versus zombies. A lot of drama just for that amount of damage. <laughs> I know. It's because I didn't give Lloyd a good weapon right now because uh, Randy's the one with a really, really nice weapon. Yeah, if I were to show Randy's damage... Randy has 200 strength while Lloyd has 100... No, it's not that far. Oh, I don't know why that... Oh, Randy does so much more damage than Lloyd does. But it might be lore reason, too, why he has so much more strength. Right, back to the north exit. So, next location, I'm gonna... Sorry, uh, next one is Ancient Battlefield. Where is Ancient Battlefield? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm going to see where that is. This is near Old Amaroka Road in Sunford. Right. Skill issue. 
All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I did get new armor. So let me see if I can equip that to somebody. It was, I think they were called engineer boots. Yeah, I think it, they're, they're good. So she has engineer boots and you got strigas and you got iron leggings. Is there any shoes? Stamp jumpers are gonna be better for you. So we wanna move to East Street. And it's finally the last location of the photos. So we are going through Old Tamaroko Road. I think it's the fourth. All right, uh, ten gram is over here, crossbow over here, and this way should be to Amaroka. Yeah, there's old Amaroka Road, uh, ancient battle. What's that? Huh. Old battlefield. Sunford. Where is Sunford? Oh! Didn't mean to do that. We could just run. I think I'm pretty sure I went through here and I couldn't find anything. Mirage Sepeth? Ugh. Is this it? I never even noticed that here. Wait, look over here. Huh, it doesn't let me look. And I think it's not Amaroka Road because I am not in the ancient battlefield. Let me see. Ancient battlefield. No, <laughs> I don't think I've ever even seen this before. Let me look at this a little bit more. Yeah, I've never been there before. Old Amaroka Road. There's an underground passage? Huh? What? Okay, so it has to be on the third one. So third one... So there's a battlefield here? So the location I'm in is Old Amarokov Road right now. This is the third one. This is uh, the last one. Yeah, I, I was here. This can't be the battlefield. Me lost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Tangram Gate is to the right. So, I'm pretty sure if I go to Amaroka Village. I'm just gonna follow this map. So I see a fortress. Okay, so it should be around here. So I have to find something that's gonna take me across. But where? <laughs> but where? Where's the entrance? Because it says there is an entrance around here that takes me across. I just never seen it before. Oh, is this it? Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, then how do I take a picture of the old battlefield? Good question. So I found it. I just don't know how to get to it. And... How do you get there? 
Is there a bridge I could take over there to get closer? No. So basically, I'm pretty much locked out. Can't go there at all. Um, cause it says I have to take a picture in there and it's blocked off. So I'm pretty sure this is only New Game Plus. Maybe. There is no way. Because it says I have to take a picture inside of there. And... Uh... But now I know where it is. So, that's okay. Welp. I know its location. I can just turn in all these quests over... To... Get these done. Our hunt for pictures are over. Alright, so we just need to go here to the harbor and to new service. Some photos. Oh wow, it looks like you managed to take a lot of photos. I'll call Grace to let her know. Are you ready to submit them? Okay, we'll submit all of them. Yep, looks like he managed to take enough. Also, could you return the orbital camera you borrowed? We started developing the photos right away. Oh, I nearly forgot about that. I'm excited to see how they turn out. Yep, we'll get right to it. We should be waiting around the second floor for you. Welcome back, guys. A job well done. The photos you brought are finally developed and ready to go. Let's take a peek, shall we? Ah, the rustic landscape of Old Emmerich Road. Just one glance fills me with tranquility. Oh, this one's Emmerich's flower garden. Your delicious honey is to die for. Oh wow, are those the mysterious ruins hanging over by the mouth of Lupinus River? Remove the monsters from the equation, this would be the ideal date spot. Oh, what the heck? Where did she even take these? I gotta say, the emptiness brings about a soothing tranquility. Oh, and here's the money shot. It would be a sightseeing tour guide without Maine's mountain of Pat's waterfall. It's truly a sight to behold, isn't it? Can't help but staring lo longingly when I take a bus out of Maine's. Oh, and you managed to take a snapshot of the railway. This is one's near the West Crossbell Highway. I've seen a fair share of train fanatics out in the city, and I'm glad to manage to get one photo of it. Is this Starkeaser's Tower? It's not exactly the safest place to go, but it's still a nice and quiet spot away from the bustle of the city. Whoa, ruins? You're telling me there's a place like this out on the main mountain path? It looks some kind of ancient temple. I could just get the mystery oozing from it. Unbelievable, each and every one of them is flawless, masterfully done, Ellie. If I'm being totally honest, this is the kind of work that puts most professionals to shame. Consider me impressed. I better start looking into a way to convince Ellie to replace Reigns as our main photographer. I... I think that's a little much. I believe that you enjoyed them, though. <laughs> you hear that, Mademoiselle? Masterfully done, she says. Reaching the quota would do wonders for our progress, I assure you. Though, we can use a few more, and I'm sure Reigns would be able to give a hand later. All that's left to do is left to add a nifty little introduction, and we'll be... Completely finished, all right? I'm glad to hear that, Grace. I see this is wise to trust the eye of a detective. You were able to track down all these glorious spots like it was nothing. Maybe you should consider changing careers and becoming an official tour guide. What do you say? I hope you're not implying another request. No, no, anyway, you really staked my skin. I'll keep you guys on the speed dial for whenever I need you, okay? Yes, well, instead of that, just submit another support request, okay? Yeah, yeah, thanks everyone. Well then, duty calls, so I'll leave you be. Bye-bye. Man, leave to Chris to submit a request that makes us do work up a sweat. Yeah, sure it did, even with a guide. True, I haven't held a camera in so long. It was actually pretty fun taking those pictures. I actually don't mind doing requests like these every once in a while. <laughs> same here. On the other hand, keeping up with Grace can be exhausting after a while. Yeah, you could say that again. It looks like my, uh, controller disconnected again. Am 
many famous views of Crossbow completed. Let's go. Let's turn these in. Uh, let's go to the SSS building. Yeah, I didn't get the bonus because I didn't get every single picture, but I couldn't find the location for it. Alright, so... Last quest is, uh... It's a string quest? Like, we went down a monster. So we need to go to Geofront's B1 sector. Where's Geofront? Geofriend. I'm, I'm trying to remember where that is. Oh. Let me look it up. Where is Geofriend B1 sector? Oh, now I remember. Now I remember. Now I remember. I don't need to look it up. I know where this is. This is in the residential district. Down here. Geo 1 B sector, right? Let me see. Not A, just B? Yes. B one sec. Alright, we're gonna have to look for some monsters. Whoa! Are you water? I'm closer. Sad. 500 damage for a normal attack? Wait. No. Ah! Oops. I keep running into these things. Oh, I missed. Oof. No, 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 no. Oh, I never got this. You material. Water. Enigma. I don't know what that means, Kudo. Oh, yikes! <laughs> Unfortunate, Randy. That's an EP charge. Nice. He's somewhere here, not there. Uh, probably down here. Wee. I actually can't believe how long it's taking to find this. Go, go, go. I remember there was an easier way to take <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I should probably, uh, it's probably in here. So I'm going to 
save my game. There's a fishing spot there? Oh, how do I fish there? Is it like this? Oh. What? You can fish here? Sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's just a snow crab. Okay. Alright, this is the monster we gotta exterminate. Let's go! Crab! Oh, God. Yikes. Alright, uh... Okay, let's take care of the middle one first. I did some good damage. Um... Summoned yet. What did he do? Easy. Uh, let's do a support and get everybody's attack up. Uh, let's use an item to see the weaknesses. What is it called? Battle skill. Do we have we do not have anything about Dark Attendant? Okay, so our weaknesses is Earth. We could probably use that item too. Alright, weakness is Earth as well. Oh yikes. He's preparing for an attack. Oh god. We gotta move. Alright, um... I read her, right? Yes. We gotta move. Oh god, wait. It's actually targeting Ellie. It's not targeting a location. No! We gotta move. Yikes. Um... Let's, um, defeat these things, one at a time. God. Um... Ellie can't move. She can't use her special, so might as well use the tear bomb on herself. Nice. One down. Can you do a craft to... Alright, um... Do you have anything for... Cures Paralyze? Where is it? Cure Paralyze! Do I not have anything to Cure Paralyze? Money? Into that. Should be good. Um, do you have a skill? Hmm. Debilitate. Oh, I could do mute. It's not gonna be enough. Brave smash. Ah, okay. Good enough for me. Dang. Okay, that wasn't enough. Alright. Um. Let's do. Big heal. Oh no, he summoned another one. Alright, can you do a craft to impede? 
Nice. Just what I wanted. God. Uh, let's give you... Uh, is there anything that gives CP that I have? CP, CP, CP. We need... We need a lot of CP. CP, CP. Recovery dish. 60 CP. That's... Hmm. That's a lot of heal. CP... Cautionary for you is just CP plus one. Oh, that's a waste. Yeah, we're gonna go with the CP plus 64. Oh, <gasps> that's a waste! No, okay. Nobody else has a... an impede skill? We're gonna have to eat it. Yeah, we're gonna have to eat it, okay. Rash. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to do his axle rush, so um stone spike it is. Oh Oh my gosh, we can't hit this thing? Alright, uh, quick. Um, okay, I can do Axel Rush again. Nice. Wait, but it didn't... It didn't impede him. Oh, no. Um, yeah, try to do a... She can't do craft. Tear. Yikes! That's so much damage! Alright, um... Another quake. Uh... Quake again? Uh... Quake is... No, he doesn't have quake. Oh god, he keeps... Summoning more. Alright, send an item over to Tia. Next. Oh! <laughs> Yikes. Uh, and then we're gonna have breath. Nice. Oh god, he's paralyzed. Uh, we're gonna have to do. What is it? The cure bomb. Probably we'll have to do the crest again. Nice. Alright, we're safe for now. Randy's range is so much bigger than everyone else's when he does AoE. Oh, it's coming again. Oh, it's so close! Um, I'm gonna use that much EP. Oh, nice! We're done! We're done! We're home free! Let's go! Bag of tricks. Natural remedy. Whoa, that's a lot of EXP. And then we can leave her here. Mm. 
nice. All right. We finished all the side quests. Oops. Not there. I meant to go downstairs. So we can report it all to HQ and then we can start main story. Let's go. I got promoted. <gasps> got a justice coin. All right. Let's see. What is this justice coin I just got? I'm guessing it's one of these things. Yes, it is. Uh, prevents death blows. Symbolizes justice, grasp it, and harden your result. Okay, I'm definitely giving that to Ellie. Oh. Um, so you have prevent faint, prevent burn. So I'm gonna give you justice coin. There we go. Nice. Uh, and save. We can finally work on main story. Let me double check. We got all the quests done. Yup. So all we have to do is go to St. Ursula. Let's go. Welcome to St. Ursula Hospital. The city's in the middle of celebrating the anniversary festival. I'm sure you're all looking forward to the festivities, right? I've heard this hospital has equipment that automatically assesses a person's health. Honestly, with the exhaustion I build up by doing the houseberg day in and day out, I'd love to have a checkup. <clears throat> the most important thing to remember is when traveling is to enjoy the cultural uniqueness of a country you're visiting. For example, famous hospitals like these are perfect sightseeing spots with all their research labs and people. Oh, good morning. The concert yesterday was great, wasn't it, Randy? Thank you so much for inviting me. I know the other girls had a great time too. Heh, <laughs> showing ladies a good time is my life's mission. Going on a date with three different nurses is pretty daring, Randy. You're telling me. It seems that he has learned nothing from the blunder that got him kicked out of the CGF. I generally feel at home here. Maybe it's because of the view of Lake Elm. Sure, the anniversary festival may be going on, but the patients who can't travel out here is a beautiful way oasis. Now, now, everything's going to be all right. But first, we need to be nice and quiet for everyone else in here, okay? Winter favor has been taken care of. I promise we'll head straight to the anniversary festival. I want to go to the festival! <laughs> Apparently, Dr. Galley's son is part of the city's downtown gangs. He's probably just one of the rebellious phase. It'll pass soon enough, I'm sure. We'll find out soon enough who we need to talk to. <laughs> I tweaked out my hips on the festival's opening ceremony, I was getting pushed around one way on the next to the crowd, and it got me good. Not gonna, it's not gonna stop me, though. The festival's only begun. I'm only gonna get mixed up real quick and get back into partying. I picked up my grandpa's medicine from the doctor. I hope he actually takes it this time. It was never a slow day at St. Ursula, that's for sure. The residents have been absolutely dragging since the anniversary festival began, as if all the energy was wrung out of them. Ahem, I suppose this calls for a stern talking to. Can't be losing morale now. Oh, wrong way. That's the emergency room. No, uh, Did she just fall asleep while standing? It appears so. A practical skill like that may be proved beneficial someday. I should practice. <laughs> oh. People keep reminding me that we're already on the second day of the anniversary festival. Well, after 72 hours without sleep, researching with Chief Ursuline have been completely lost all meaning. I had plans to attend Arkansas with my son tomorrow, but I don't think I'll be able to make it. I look at myself trying to smooth things over with my son like this, and I feel rather ashamed at how low I've sunken as a father. Work taking over your life. 
I'm trying to decide whether I want to integrate a key card system into the front desk set for operations. If people get cards with their own information loaded onto them beforehand, it would greatly decrease the load of our receptionist carry. On the other hand, handling the mass production of cards to ensuring patients' privacy are quant quant areas that would much very be need to be solved. Oh! Where could you be, doctor? Good afternoon, Sarah. We saw the report support request you submitted. Oh, the su special support section? I'm glad you could stop by. Is something the matter? Uh, yes? We're here because of the St. Ursula doctors who are missing, right? You seem awfully calm for a situation like this. Oh, uh, well, you wouldn't call it calm, exactly. I think exasperated is, a more, is more accurate. I exasperated? Could you clarify the details of your request? There seems to be a misunderstanding over how severe each case is missing person's case may be. Yes, I probably should explain. The doctor in question is a man named Jo Chim Guider. Dr. Guider is, well, despite being an expert in his field, sometimes this appears in most inconvenient times. Mr. Guider, wasn't that the man with the blue hair and glasses that we met before? And by missing, you really mean the guy's playing pokey. If we're playing bun, yes. The doctor still has a lot of things left on his plate, and we're still quite a loss without him. I see. So the real heart of the matter is that you don't know where the doctor ran off to. Y yes unfortunately that's exactly right. I'm sorry everyone. It might have been irresponsible of me to write the request like I did, gone missing and all that. What do you think, guys? I think we could postpone this, if we want. Based on the information given, the level of urgency seems quite low. Maybe so, but I say take a crack at it. I hate to see Sarah in this lurch. I suppose there's still a chance we could have gotten mixed up in some trouble. S Sarah! <laughs> oh, Lighten! I need to re- Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my gosh! I accidentally pressed the auto button. I cry! Alright, so this is- which one's auto? Alright, here it is. Oh, Lighten, I need to remind you not to shout in here? When you want to disturb our patients, sorry about that. Hey, Zivit is in our favorite assault victim. How'd you hold up, man? What? Oh, hey, everyone. I really appreciate everything you did for- Wait, that's not the problem right now. Sarah, where the heck did- is Dr. Guider? About that, I'm sorry, Lighten. He still isn't back. You're, you're joking, right? Oh, goddess. What does he expect me to do with all this work? I'm just an intern. Oh, there's no time to explain- complain. I have to do some of it, at the very least. Let's see, what is up with that? Oh, Dr. Gwitter pushes his work onto Lighten pretty regularly. And with him absent, Lighten is desperately trying to chip away at the mound of work he left behind. I can only imagine how much stress he must be under. Yeah, no doubt about that the hanging, if that's the case. You gotta do it for poor Lighten. I agree. He's certainly deserving of pity. Oh, all right then. Sarah, do you have any idea where Dr. Gooder might have gone? Oh, does that mean you're accepting my request? Thank you, everyone. Recently, Dr. Gooder has been talking about participating in the Anniversary Festival Fishing Tournament. It is quite possible that his disappearance had something to do with that. Considering he left his work hours, he should probably be working on his lab wearing his lab coat. I'm sure that he'll stick out like a sore thumb. Ducking out of the work for fishing tournament. Sounds like this is more than just some once in a while hobby. If it involves fishing, I'm sure fishermen guilds on the East Street will know something. Alright, we'll accept your request, Sarah. Once we find him, we'll contact the hospital and bring him back. That'll be perfect. Thanks so much. Let's see who else I could talk to right now. Apparently, Dr. Galley's son is part of the city's downtown gang. Oh, wait, I already read this. I want to know how the, the nurses are up to, especially the nurse that always is a class. So, the second day of the anniversary festival, is it? Now's the time to, to see injuries spike, people get riled up with excitement that tune out of their surroundings, and that all it takes. How nice it would be if the petty gang members aren't carried into the hospital again tomorrow. I'm not holding my breath, though. 
Doesn't that youngin slump in bread over there look pretty down in the dumps? Ugh, oh, my bleeding heart. I guess I'll gift him one of my prize magazines. That'll cheer him up, no doubt. Oh, God. Not the magazines. This blows. It doesn't get... If I didn't get hurt like an idiot, I would be full-blown festival mode. Oh, the guy was discharged. Nice. His surgery went well, I hope. After covering for me yesterday, I'm happy that Mephia and Cerone was given the day off. Oh, she's not here today. She's not here. We really had a blast yesterday. Now that we're back in the job, we ought to pull all the energy to good use. Is my sister here? Where was I yesterday? Here, of course. There's no such thing as a rest for nurses, after all. Patients aren't going to treat themselves, are they? Oh, Lloyd. Back on the job already, huh? Did you all had a nice little break? Definitely. I was able to relax at home for the first time for a while. I did not do much at all. So yes, it was very nice. Little's alright. If you ask me, one day is hardly counts as a real break at all. Especially when I missed out on painting on the town red with you, Cecil. All things considered, I'd say that my day went pretty well too. Looks like the nurses did pretty good. What is this? I'm doing a little observation here in St. Ursula to get a feel for the doctors operate. For future reference. It's easy to understand how they became renowned for their respective fields, seeing how exact and efficient they are. Oh, there's a new person here. This hospital's quite cozy, I must say. Until my leg fully recovers, I plan to simply relax and enjoy what St. Ursula has to offer. Oh, shouldn't Dr. Gruder be here already? My heart can't wait any longer. Oh, the guy got discharged. That reserved, easygoing attitude. Oh, he's exactly my type. I don't know, man. You probably wouldn't want him as a husband. The anniversary started, huh? I bet Miss Dr. Gruder is already out fishing by now. He's still in the hospital. Oh, he's still here. I heard the hospital has been improving the quality of their meals a bit. But guess what they brought me? A tofu burger! Ugh, as if I'm going to be tricked into eating something as foul as that. Don't these people know how a lunch should be consisted of steak and wine? Just how luxurious of a life has been he been living. I mean, seeing his name, he sounds pretty rich. This hospital is really huge. But not huge enough to contend the size of my ab abode. What? It's the truth! Linen room. Oh, special support section. The anniversary festival is going on right now, isn't it? I'll admit, it's hard to tell when you're in here. I know someone's so happy it's happening when arms reach, but it feels like it's a far off world. These people, bro! What's, what's wrong with these people? It's a normal day at the hospital. <laughs> Right, I'm sure someone's up on the roof. Yep. This roof is so big, they managed to fit a whole nother building on top of it. That's amazing. If you climb the top of the research ward, you'll be able to see Crossbell City? Are you kidding me? Where the heck did the doctor sneak off to? I'm just a resident. I'm not qualified to deal with everything that comes on his desk. Yeah, I wish I could see what's inside of here. This is St. Ursula Research Ward. The high- is such high class people complaining about the hospital? Yeah! I'm kind of curious, what would a tofu burger even taste like? Nobody here? Oh! My practical training exam is being held in one of the exam rooms this evening. I'll show that professor what I'm made of. This building is where all the doctors and nurses live. Living together with your co-workers sounds like a blast, don't you think? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be a blast. Sweep, sweep. The doctor's dormitories are quite pretty, don't you think? Since hospital staff work so late, these rooms are, don't seem much use. Certainly works out well for me. That is true. It's always empty in here. Doesn't look like anyone in here. Right, that's closed. 
Having to stay in a bed during the whole anniversary festival must be a shame, don't you think? I want to go home and be on with my cooking in the next few days, just so that the patients don't feel like they're missing too much. But I have to make sure I don't go too crazy. If you can't strike a good balance, the whole thing could come tumbling down. Yeah, they'll try to ask for it every day, yeah, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't think this hospital food was going to be light and unappetizing, but boy was I wrong. The anniversary festival? Sorry, but I can't say I'm interested in it. Despite what you may think, I came to Crosswell for purely academic reasons. You won't see me crying over a lack of free time unlike the other interns. I see. So, we're gonna have to go to the fishing tournament. Yeah! Alright. And the fishing tournament is probably in the harbor. That's my guess. Harbor, harbor, harbor. Oh wait, I could fast travel here? Where is... He's in a doctor's uniform, so I should be able to find him. Where's the fishing turn? Oh wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to go to the fishing guild. Okay. Fishing guild, where are you? Remember where you took that picture of the place of the couple? Of the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Is that where the fishing tournament is? Excuse us. Looks like nobody's in. Figured we would have find a clue about Dr. Gwitter if we came in here. Did all those fishing fanatics head out to their tournament or wherever it was? If they have, then our would-be clue have already left the building. Going towards the hospital, there's a little beach area. Oh! Wait just a moment, please. I sense a presence somewhere inside. Oh, crap, I'm late. Well, well if it isn't Detective Lloyd. Great timing, Copan. You got a second answer to qu answer a quick question? Sorry, man. I, I don't have time to sit here and chit-chat. I gotta hurry to the Fisher Cup out on the Ursula Road sandbar. It's just about to start. The Fisher Cup? That fishing tournament? Oh, you guys already knew about it? I should have known. Nothing gets past the angler. The Fisher Cup is in a tournament held in honor of the Fisherman's Guild president, Mr. Fisher. Wait, I shouldn't have said just said the time to be sit around chit-chatting. If I don't get there pronto, all the other guys will snag all the best spots. Just, just one thing. One more thing. Among the attending Fisherman Cup, is there a doctor with glasses, blue hair, and a white lab coat? Hmm? You talking about Joe Chim? I'm pretty sure he's coming today, yeah? Bingo. Yeah. Oh, you all entering the tournament too? In that case, take this. W what What's this? I'm giving it to you as a memento of completing the Fisher Cup. It's a participation prize, so to speak. I don't ever recall committing to the tournament, so is this really okay? Wait, darn it! I forgot I'm running late! Sorry guys, got a jet. You better get moving if you want to make it. For someone in a hurry, he really went out of his way. Yeah. Anyway, Dr. Gruder should be heading out to the sandbar on Ursula Road. We should hurry to reel him in. Caught the enthusiasm, eh, Teotot? Silence. Okay, so Ursula Road. Ah, uh, it should be... Wait, sandbar. It should be the halfway point. Oh! <gasps> Nick! Thank you for the raid! How was your stream? Let me shout you out. Nick, the science rat. You are playing Pumpkin Panic. What kind of game is that? I've never heard of Pumpkin Panic. Oop. Cutscene. Hello, raiders! Hi! Scary game. Oh. Oh, it's because of Halloween month. Yeah. On oh, itch.io. Yeah! Friday the 13th. Wait. You're right. It is Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh. I missed out on a chance like that. October, Friday the 13th. You will experience that very often. Actually, isn't that once every seven years? That's crazy. Yeah. 
How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, uh, October, Friday the 13th will happen once, I think once every seven years, n not counting leap year. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it either. Oh, no problem, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, so right now I'm just playing uh, some more Trails from Zero. Uh, doing a quest right now. Almost day 17th of your Trails from Zero. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. One day off of 13. Yeah. So yeah, I'm at the halfway point of the game. So I am almost there to being done. All the spook. Yeah, spooky month. Oh, would you look at this? Is that him? No, it's not him. We're looking for a doctor. Thank you for the follow. There he is! <laughs> Looks like they're enjoying themselves. You need soothing voice after all that spook. All right, I hope you relax and uh, get all that spook off of you. <laughs> I'm impressed that they were able to be so carefree with all that these monsters in the highway. There are far fewer monsters than normal today. Thank you for the head pad. Were they scared by the horde of the fishermen? The spook will never leave. I kind of doubt that. But either way, we found our fishing tournament. All that's left is to find Dr. Gooder. Yeah. Let's talk to all the fishermen. Oh, there you are, Lloyd. I see that you brought your SSS buddies too. I'm glad you could make it. Behold, the Fisher Cup! A tournament where you could show off your fishing skills to honor the Fisher Guild president, Mr. Fisher. I call it a tournament, but it's more akin to a social gathering for all fishing enthusiasts. Remember, Rad is afraid of technology. I poke him with technology. <laughs> you sadly missed the full explanation, so you'll have to settle for the quick rundown. I was here earlier, and there was no one here. Uh, let me see if there's anyone else here before I talk to you. Oh, more competitors for the Fisher Cup. Feel free to find yourself in the open spot to fish, fish, fish. Wow, that was a monster of a catch. I think I found the perfect fishing spot. Oh, you guys are the members of the Fisherman's Guild too? I suppose I am for the time being. Yeah, we're having a fishing tournament. Nice to meet you. My name is Lloyd. Lloyd? That's a pretty funny coincidence, if I do say so myself. What do you mean? We share the same name, my boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, he has... His name is Lloyd, too. I'm Lloyd, a master fisher of the Fisherman's Guild. Sir didn't ask me to be a special guest at the tournament, so I packed my things and came all the way from Liberal. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'll be here at the duration of the anniversary festival. Let's reel in some prize catches. All right, other Lloyd? Y yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure we get to talk to him in Trails in the Sky. I just don't remember him because I didn't play for myself. I just watched someone else play Trails in the Sky and they skipped from talking from all the NPCs. So I'm trying to do talk to all the NPCs to get to know everybody. And it just makes this world feel so much more expansive. Is this the Lloyd that Estelle was talking about earlier? Do, do, do. Ah, fishing is truly delightful. I guess that's what they say is true. The heart is really soothed with the cast of your line. It really helps me feel refreshed after a day, a long day in the hospital. Blue hair, white lab coat, I think we got a man. Excuse me, are you Dr. Joachim Guter? Joachim, yes, that's me. I apologize, but I'm in the middle of something important. If you need some, aha! Ah, uh, finally, a bite. You're not even listening. I am, I am. I'm hooked on your every word. Lame pun. Excuse me, sir? Sarah, one of the hospital receptionists, sent us a, a request to track you down, doctor. Your recent absences are causing problems for Lighten and the rest of the staff. I've got you now. Oh, wow, a, pr a viper head. And a pretty big one at that. I can tell my daily trips to the hospital are finally starting to pay off. This dude's on his own little world. Sorry, bud, but I think the heard a single word. I don't think he heard a single word he said. <sighs> I think we have to explain yourself again, Lloyd. But but I was already yelling. 
I assure you, that won't be necessary. The hospital staff is awaiting my return, right? It's nice to meet you all. I'm Dr. Joachim Guter. I'm just a simple associate professor over at St. Ursula Hospital. Hmm? I can't help but feel that we met before. Deja vu, perhaps? I suppose there's really no point for trying to remember that. No, I wouldn't call this deja vu. We should have started with an introduction. Oh well, better late than never, right? Um, I'm Lloyd Bannings, member of the hospital department. Police department, special support section. Now, Dr. Guter, will you? It's fine, Lloyd. I understand the dilemma. So, does that mean you're going to return to the hospital? That's a good question, ma'am. However, I've been looking forward to the Fisher Cup for the last two months. It's kind of a big deal for us anglers. And since I don't have any free time during the festival, I figured I'd treat myself with a little fishing trip. Do you have e no sense of responsibility as a physician? Well, of course I do. My wrist is awfully sore from all the apology letters I had to write every time I snuck out of the hospital last fall. You wouldn't have to write those letters if you didn't sneak! It's a good thing my old chum Leiden was there to help me write half of them. So, all those paperwork that Leiden has been working on is your apology letters. Oops, I actually... We're getting a little off topic here. Well, we have to convince you to... What do we have to do to convince you to come back to the hospital? Hmm, let me think about that. Well, since I'm already at the Fisher Cup, why don't we sell all this over a battle of the baits? You mean fishing? Exactly. If you manage to reel in something larger than the viper head I just caught, I'd gracefully accept my defeat in return. Simple, right? So it all comes down to fishing, Matt Jay. You think you're up for it, Lloyd? Fine. I accept your challenge. Any rules that I should know of? Spoken like a true angler. I'll show my viper head to Sir Dem in a little bit. Once you caught a fish of your own, have him inspect one as well. As long as you catch a fish larger than my viper head, you will be declared the winner. Just keep in mind there is no do-overs once you've shown your fish to certain. That's it. And oh, no leaving the sandbar. Uh, come and get your gear in hand, because leaving the sandbar to resupply is forbidden. So, how do the rules sound? No complaints from me. Just hope I have enough bait on me. Maybe I should go ask the other fisherman if I don't, though. I think there's... It's time to start our bait off. Good luck, Lloyd. Have some fun. Ah, uh, I need bait. I don't have bait, I know that for sure. Gonna have a fishing match, huh? The format's a little different from an official fishing match, but that's fine. Just give me a shout when you're ready to give me the deliberate. I need bait! Does any fisher here have bait? Can I have your bait? Oh, you're complaining against Jochen? Just remember, have a good time, okay? Never forget that the desire to fish comes from the heart, not from obligation. Sorry, I wanted to sound cool. Uh? Huh? Nobody has bait? Hello? How's everything on your end? I wouldn't worry too much about our match. By the way, I'd rather you have a good time fishing on this fine day. Sorry, but no can do. I'm gonna win and drag you back to the hospital, doctor. You seem too, uh, too relaxed a bit, Lloyd. Hmm. Yeah, there's the fishing spot, but I don't have the bait. Do you have bait? Have a great time out there. Oh, I saw for a second, but boy, was Joe Chim catch enormous. You're gonna have to pull all the stops to beat that monster. A catfish should do the trick, because it's king of the lake. That's reassuring. <laughs> Come on, kid, don't make that face. Your first priority is to have fun. You know what? I'll give you a useful piece of advice. Don't go for the deadliest catch right off the bat. The trick is to start off by stocking up on small fry first. The real money catches won't be satisfied with some dinky earthworm gotta bait them with the real food, like small fish. This spot's good for catching small fry. So here, try fishing with this bait. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it. So I have to start off small, huh? Alright, let's give this a shot. Thank you. The dry will you use? Simple tackle with the line already attached. Some can... Can sometimes surprise and get big fish. Let's go. Sorry. Sorry. Three, two, one. All 
right. Did I get it? Catfish? Yeah! Got catfish. All right. I'm gonna send that catfish to him. I've already checked out Joey Chim's viper head, so it's all up to you now. Out of all the fish you caught, the largest among them was a catfish. Is this the fish you want to challenge him with? Yes. Sounds good. I'll go grab Joey Chim so I can announce your results. <laughs> Are you sure your fish measures up to mine? I'm not sure, but I don't plan on losing to you. Huh? I'm excited to see the results. If you would like to do the honors, certain. Judge away, my friend. Mm, let's see. In Dr. Guitar's corner, we got an impress impressive viper head. Out of all the fish Louis caught, the largest among them was a catfish. And after judging, the winner is... Lloyd Baddings! Yeah! Let's go! C come again? Are you sure there wasn't an error in your judgment? Them the brakes, bud. Lloyd's fish is absolutely massive. Trust me, my eyes never lie. You're kidding. You did it, Lloyd. Heck yeah! You never failed to deliver. I won? Ugh, fate is cruel. Well, a win's a win. Here's your little present to celebrate your victory. A celestial bomb. Thank you, Dr. Gruder. I appreciate it. Now is the time for me to hold up my end of the bargain. Off to the hospital I go. Really? I was expecting you to throw more of a fuss. Excuse me, miss? Some rowdy child? Anyway, our little match has become a great opportunity to get some quality fish in. I'm more than satisfied for the time being. Huh? He's a crafty one, isn't he? He was totally using us to buy him more fishing time, I bet. Utterly despicable. I haven't had the faintest idea what you mean. It was a pleasure, certain. I'll see you around. Sure, pal. I look forward to seeing you in the next competition. Likewise, friend. Now, if you excuse me, special support section, I have a hospital to tend to. I'll be waiting at the bus stop if there's anything you need from me. That dude's head is completely wrapped around his finger. He's cunning, all right. I do not trust him in the slightest. You might swim away in the moment we take a, our eyes off him. Yeah, so we should take the same bus to make sure he actually goes back to the hospital. Where, where in the world were you, Doctor? Do you have... Do you know how many people you've inconvenienced by disappearing without a word? Ha ha ha. Well, if you must know, I was competing in an intense event known as the Fisher Cup. It was only by the Fisherman's Guild, and seeing I'm a member, I couldn't possibly skip it. I had the Angler's Code to uphold. This is serious, Dr. Guter. Do you realize that Miss... that Lightning was filling in for you as we speak, don't you? Oh, Lightness? <laughs> I really am blessed to have such a capable pupil. I think it would be rude of me to rain on his parade, considering how hard he's working, so why not let things continue as they are? Yes, I think that's for the best. It'll be very educational for him. Very educational indeed. Get back to work this instant. Yes, ma'am. Is this guy always like this? He's supposed to be an associate professor, so I presume this is... He has the qualifications. They do say that fine line between genius and insanity. That's enough. Before he hears us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, but I have to excuse myself here. Next time we meet, let's go fishing again, alright? I won't take no as an answer. Again? Um, ignore that. I don't know what he's talking about. So, you need anything else from us? Uh, no, that should be everything. Thanks for the help, you four lifesavers. I don't know how else we would have gone to him back this quickly. If you're ever in need, please don't hesitate to come to us. You will need to make sure to provide as much assistance as we can. Thank you. We can, you can count on us. See you around. Missing doctor complete. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we actually finished this quest too. Alright, so... We just have to turn that in. Be busy for the next couple of days, so... 
As soon as we turn this in, we should be able to get the main story quest. There we go, it started. A call? おいおいまた厄介事かよ。はい、ロイドです。どうもお疲れ様です。なあ、フランカ、どうした。ひょっとして緊急要請か。はい、そうなんです。実はその九市内の不良さんたちがいるじゃないですか。ちょうど今その人
where a lot of public people see, it's a little bit scary when you see weapons. I blame them for being cool around town. <laughs> but no, they, they're, I think the reason why I like them is because they're very rational. Because they, um, even though they're like part of a gang and stuff, they're definitely not like the Mafia or Heiyu. Because those two are like very crafty. But these, these guys are just stupid. <laughs> but I like them. Noted! Oof. Yeah. Estelle's right here. Is yeah, there's Taurus here. Oh god. <笑>やっぱり。てめえら。何で<笑><笑> なんとなくだけどね。そちらのお兄さんは実力的にはさらに上なのかな。まだまだ修行中の身だけどね。うん。よしあの方が上っていうのは確かにそうなんだけど。決めつけられるとそれはそれでちょっと納得いかないわね。
決着をつけてもいいんですけど上等だああもうよしは君もなんとか言ってくれよごめん僕もちょっと引けないかな Oh snap Joshua <笑>それじゃあ僕はバルドに加勢しようかなさすがの君もその二人を相手にするのは厳しいだろうし<笑>勝手にしろよだだからなんでそうなんだって<笑>困ったわねこのままだとすごい乱闘騒ぎになってしまいそうですねあのよそんなにやり合いたいんなら別の方法でやればいいんじゃねえ、うん、せっかくの祭りだ遺恨を残してもつまらねえだろう、yeah, だったらスカッとする方法で決着をつけるっつうのはどうだよ Ooh, like a food eating competition or something? カットする方法だえっとランディさんどういうことああそいつはな What are they gonna do? <笑>なるほどね旧市街の地形を利用したチェイスバトル。おっフォーレイスおっフォーレイスおっフォーレイスおっフォーレイスおっフォーレイスおっフォーレイスおっフォーレイスおっフ I am definitely not gonna beat Joshua in a cell on that. They're synced to a T. Bogai Ari. Nandemo Ari no, Ken Kares de Wakana. Speed, power, technique, Soreni Kakiki. Hitotori has two in our work at his neck. Oh, Monsieur Sokamo. Ha ha, Daro? 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 Landy, Anona. 喧嘩にならないのはいいけど結局周りの人たちに迷惑をかけるんじゃないかしらまあその割には皆さん見物に集まってますけど Yeah that's true there's some people that are coming to watch、まあ、いいんじゃないなんかお祭りっぽくてさそれで本当に君たちも参加するわけ仕方ないだろうここまで関わっておいて知らんかはどうかと思うしやれやれ、真面目だね。ランディの提案だろその代わり、完全に試合形式にして、ルールから外れたことはしないこと。決着がついたら遺恨は残さず、それ以上は争わないこと。うーん、私たちはもちろん依存はないけど。ふん、俺もそれでいいぜ。こうなったら、遊撃士も警察も、まとめて相手をしてやるよ。誰が一番か証明するためにな<笑>それじゃ正々堂々と戦いましょうそれとさっきは私の態度も悪い For I, I was like thinking about like the foot race and stuff and I was like thinking like all the people that are coming to watch and stuff if they're going to be just watching in the beginning or end part of the race and or if they're going to chase after us to like See all of it unfold, but at the same time, it would cause a lot of injury if they all try to chase to watch. And then I was like thinking about marathons where people will be like standing in like the end of the race or the beginning of the race, and sometimes in between, but like everybody gets a front row seat to see the race. They're participating as well, surely. Surely they are. <laughs> What did she say that surprised them? I'll beat you in the dirt fair and square, but I have to be a teen. I may have been a teen to get too rude earlier. Sorry about that. That's true. Yeah. ああ。君ってこう。変な女だぜ。ああ、いい。赤毛。誰が赤毛だ、誰が。さっきも言ったように、レースの基本は追いかけっこだ。ワジアンドバルドの旧市街チーム。エステルヨシュアの遊撃士チームそしてロイドオレの支援家チーム
この3チームで旧市街を3周して一番早くゴールしたチームが勝者となるただし各チームには毎週3箇所のチェックポイントを押さえてもらうチェックポイントは通りの奥にある路地衝撃を与えると点灯する装置が置かれている、うん、こいつを3箇所ぶったたかないと一周したとは見なされないわけだこの地形を利用することで一方的に逃げることは不可能になるレース中は相手の妨害もか、What? つまりよほど先行していない限り相手から妨害を受けることはできない。So、それを迎撃するも、なんとかかわすも、チームごとの戦術的判断になるな。よくできたルールじゃない。But、at the same time, they can all hit me too. ちなみに、トラップとかはありなのありとしておこう。直接やり合うだけじゃなくて、地形を生かした妨害なんかも可能になるってわけだな。なるほど。Would they love the word impede? You sure? Don't stun you? Yeah, that I do a vacarista. Start to Jim, I do so in the sky. Coin to the Idaro, Roydo, Bardo, Esther Sham. So resolve a chimida coca or dashina. No, hm, what a so resolve a haji te teno coin. Omoteca Uraca, so one cut the honga, each one teno start to show. Narodo, so let's. おもて、おもてよ。うら。<笑>俺たちが一番手か。ね。<笑> oh, they're gonna be setting up the traps. よし。そんじゃあ、わじにコイントスしてもらおうか。了解。ロイド、エステルちゃん。おもてか裏かを選んでくれ。えっと。いいよ。先に選んで。<笑>それじゃあ、おもてで。俺は裏だ。Oh, I said second. Go me, Yoshua. Eo, Conkai no Rude that Tara. Saiso no Jumba was you, Yosanai. Yeah, I'll be stepping on all the traps. Eto, Sreja, Corede Hitori Kimata no Kashira. Ah, so dana. Sreja, let's my knee, Kakchim, Saxon Kaini to go. Each do race no Hajimatara. Time to Kawa Nashi da Garana. それじゃあバルド、仲良く打ち合わせしよっか。ふ<笑>ふ<笑>。悪いんだよ。はじじゅうはるんやん。さて、ロイド、気づいてるかもしれんが、このレース、俺たちが一番不利だ。まあね、ワジとバルドのチームは、旧市街を知り尽くしている。一方、エステルとヨシアのチームは、ポテンシャルが半端なさそうだ。<笑>そういうこと。俺たちが勝つ可能性があるとすれば、運と役割分担と敵。俺は後衛に回るから、お前は前衛に徹してくれ。いいけど、足はランディの方が早いだろ。コンビの場合、早い方がフォローに回った方が連携が取りやすい。それに、防御に関して言えば、お前のトンファーは相当なもんだ。迎撃するにしてもかわすにしても、的確な判断ができるだろう。分かったやってみるよどっちも手ごわそうだけど参加するんなら勝ちに行こう<笑>その意気だぜそうだなせっかくだからコンビネーションを使ったクラフトもこの辺りで試しておくかえいきなり大丈夫かハンバーグなにお互いの癖も大体分かってるだろうしなぶっつけ本番にはなるが Learned Burning Rage. By spending 100 CP each, a powerful combination attack can be unleashed. In this race, you could choose to use it against the enemy teams. There's no need to worry about spending CP. So, I'm going to go to the next team. 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 我々は見物人が巻き込まれないよう配慮しよう。<笑>舞台が整ったね。Oh, いいえ、真打ちがまだよ。Is that Ilya? Oh no, it's Grace. グレイスさん。確かクロスベルタイムズの。ヤッホー、ボーイズガールズ。
なんだか面白そうなことをやろうとしてるみたいじゃないお姉さんも一枚かませなさいよねかかませなさいってああ何をしやがるつもりだ答えはこれよといえばやはり実況カメラマンも連れてきたから思いっきり盛り上げてあげるわなんだか本当にお祭り騒ぎになった気が<笑>いいじゃない喧嘩より何倍も楽しいわよやれやれせいぜい期待しときますかそんじゃそろそろ始めよう<笑>そうだねバルド用意はいいかいはっいつでもいいぜ Let's go you could do it それでは oh, man, this is so n e r v o u s We'll begin the countdown. Oh god, okay. I should probably have this not fast. Oh, I'm not controlling it. So slow, though. Oh man, the s o u n Joshua are catching up. You're gonna have to figure out a trap. Oh, yeah, they were doing it too. Ooh. Oh, did we lose? You're giving a different vibe. I've never seen him this serious. His, the light in his eyes are gone. Oh, 
たわねなんで一人なのまさか当たりおしゃれやるじゃないそっちこそな<笑>相当やるねお兄さん君の方こそエッセル行くようんバルド追撃だ言われるまでもねえ激しいデッドヒートを始めた両チームもうこれでこの2チームに勝利は絞られてしまうのでしょうかうわあ Oh my gosh what the heck r a n d y すさまじいパワーですなんてすげえというかあの装置完全に壊れちゃってないおまいガーシおっワイヤートラップおっじゃあワイヤートラップいかせるかこらまたワイヤートラップもう一人は油断大敵だぜ I think it was like scripted that we were gonna win anyway, but it went pretty good. Yeah, it didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. いじっぱりというかまあ女の子も一人いましたけど<笑>そうねそうだ私冷たい飲み物買ってくるのね yeah, like、<笑>あ私も付き合います東通りの屋台でいいですよねええそうね二人ともちょっと待っててちょっと待っててああそういえばなんで俺たちこんなことしたんだっけ<笑>どうでもよくなっちまったな<笑>なランディ正直引いただろう。ああ、he's covering his face。あんな風に切れちまったよ。あ自分でもよくわからねえんだいつもヘラヘラ笑っている俺がそれともあんな風に切れちまうのが俺の本質なのかこの2年間ですっかりわからなくなっちまった。You think you got a weekend during the military? ランディその警備隊に入る前にはどこにいたんだクロスベル出身じゃないことは聞いているけど。<笑>どこにいたか煉獄のように暑く冥府のように寒いところかね血も魂も沸騰し凍りつくような世界あらゆる命の輝きと草のようなおでが入り混じったようなところ。I'm wondering if it's that place that we went to in Trails in the Sky Third, but I don't. I think it is because I don't think it's livable. So, no way you were there. Landy. Okay. <laughs> Messing around. 
Who is he? 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 とんでもなく破天荒でありえないくらい前向きで事故で両親を亡くした後男手一つで俺を養ってくれて憧れてた人を取られても嫉妬すら湧いてこないようなとにかくすごい男だったよそっか<笑>お前も大変だなそんなすげえ兄貴の背中を追いかけてるってわけかまあねでさ少し白状するとランディってさちょっと<笑>兄貴に。<笑> was, like, like, like、そうだよね。ちょっと、like, like, ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっいつも俺とかエリーやティオをさりげなくフォローしてくれるだろうそんなところがちょっと似てるんだ。ベロプロメおいおい、こっぱずかしいこと言うなよ。お兄さん、キス顔が赤くなっちまうぜ。<笑>そういう照れ隠しもちょっと似てるかも。うえ。ドゥーリス。おいかし、フリキングアウト。だから俺。ランディのことを尊敬してるところがあるんだよな。ちゃんと自分を分かっていて、他人にも気を使えるところ。同僚っていうより、一人前の男としてさ。<笑>正直、俺はまだまだだ。多分、ランディの話を聞いても、間の抜けた言葉しか出てこないんじゃないかと思う。だからさ。That dude was for me? <笑> Yeah, I want to know more about Randy. Doido. Oh, Randy. Yeah, my ta, my ta. The fact that he does a little wink and then pats his head, that's so cute. Oh, Joe, no, go, boss, did I get all? Oh, my. 天性の女たらしかもなおっとこの場合兄貴たらしってところかな<笑>な,なんだそりゃっていうか半人前なのは確かだけど子供扱いはさすがにやめてくれよ<笑><笑>何やってるんだかはい冷たい飲み物Wait, this is it came from Tio, but that was Ellie's voice. Ramone no yatai no atta no de, cut the kimashta. Oh, are you a tiny? Nah, Maj de Tascario. Mattak, Otokonoko to Kitara, show most a bakari nandakara, and Marijarea wana, no. エリーさん、焼いてますちょ、そんなわけあるはずないでしょそれにその、男の子同士になんで聞いた話だと、そういう特殊なジャンルもあるそうですし。<笑> getting jealous is a、uh, getting a popularity. これはもう、フラグが立ってしまったのかもしれませんね。そ、そうなの<笑>悪いな、お嬢。この世界は弱肉強食。食うか食われるかがすべてなのさ。あ,あなたね、はあ。何の話をしてるんだか。<笑>にぎやかだね。だ、uh, あ、ウェイジー。いや。いや。そっちはもう回復したのか。<笑>まあね。今日のところは。素直に負けを認めておこうかな。<笑>ふざけた結末だぜ
おい赤毛今度はガチで勝負しろよあの最後の爆発力てめえ Yeah he has been hiding them ああ別にそういうわけじゃねえよあんだけ一気に力を出すとその分消耗も激しくってな奥の手みたいなもんだからあんまりやりたくねえだけさあの黒髪の小僧といい Oh Joshua too さすがに今日は疲れたてめえら引き上げるぞうーすうーす<笑> That is それじゃあ The most masculine <laughs> Like, yes, <laughs> right. We'll take this opportunity to take our leave as well. Adios, Nakanaka Tanoshkata. Teshuda, yeah, and it's a weaker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, or is that Estelle? Yeah, that's Estelle. <laughs> そっちこそお疲れなんだもう帰んのかはいもともと仕事で来ていたこともありますしそれを言うなら私たちも同じですけど<笑>もう夕方になっちゃったわね<笑>楽しかったからいいじゃないせっかくのお祭りなんだしちょっとくらいは楽しまないとねげ元気だな<笑>まあそれがエステルの取り柄だからでもランディさん体の方は大丈夫なんですかえへえ、同じ匂いはしなかったが。お、oh, にそっちなら。メイビー。いえ、正確には違います。ですが、多少知識の方は。そうか。まあ、ガキの頃から慣れっこにはなってるからな。後に残るダメージはねえさ。そうですか。すみません。差し出がましいことを。いや、気にすんな。ランディちょっとちょっと何二人で分かり合ってるのよ<笑>大した話じゃないよそれよりエステルそろそろ帰ろうアリオスさんも帰ってくるみたいだしあうんそういえばよしや例の話あそうだねせっかくだから聞いてみようか例の話なんだなんかあんのかうんあのね、シュバルツオークションって知ってるシュバルツオークションですかどうやらこのクロスベルのどこかで開かれるオークションらしいの何でも毎年記念祭の期間中に開かれているらしくってでここが肝心なんだけど盗品ばかり扱ってるって話なのよ And what's the stolen good? と盗品本当なのかいやあくまでも噂だよ途方もない価値のついた表に出せない由来の品ばかりが出品されるという話だけどでもその様子だと聞いたことはないみたいだねああ初めて聞いたよ警察のデータベースでも見かけたことはありませんねシュバルツオークションかなかなか洒落た名前だけどなそっかあなたたちなら何か知ってると思ったんだけどやっぱりただの噂なのかなうんそうだねナイアルさんの情報ソースだから確かだとは思うんだけど<笑><笑>ごめんね変なことを聞いちゃって今日は楽しかったわ負けちゃったのは悔しいけど今度は同じ事件かなんかで一緒に協力できるといいわね<笑>そうだなそれじゃあ僕たちはこれで皆さんお疲れ様でしたおそちらもお疲れさん Thus the second day of the anniversary festival came to a close Lloyd and the others returned to the special support section and after wrapping up their reports they decided to eat dinner and go to bed earlier than usual Spell anniversary festival third day. Ah, yare, yare. Kino, a magi de scaratase. Connanoga to me carca to moto chotto unzari stecurna. Kino no ken, what you go to Tokodewa. 
ああいうレースを提案したのはランディさん自身ですし今になって後悔してるっつの俺も年だし若いのに混じってやんちゃするもんじゃねえなまだ二十歳かそこらで何を言ってるんだか<笑> He was saying youngsters and stuff. You're really young yourself, Randy. Boydo? Toast on this call? No, Kino, Esther Tachiga, it did a cotoga, Kininatesa. Shubaruzo auction, Dottoga. Demo, Tadano, Wasano Kano, say Motakazo, and this young e Ah, so none the Kurosa, Kurosbero, no Joko, can let it all. あながち噂だけの話じゃなさそうな気がするんだよな確かにマフィアが大手を振って歩いているような場所だしな何があっても不思議ではないその通りかもしれません実は前にちょっと気になる噂を聞いたことがあるわ気になる噂それはどういう私が以前各国に留学していたのは話したと思うけどその時知り合った貴族のお嬢さんから聞いたことがあるの毎年クロスベルのある場所で秘密のパーティーが開かれているって秘密のパーティーいかがわしい響きだなおいどうやら各国の貴族や実業家が秘密裏に集まるパーティーらしくてその時はただの噂としか思っていなかったけどちょっと気になると思わない確かにシュバルツオークションって可能性はあるということかうんそうなると課長あたりは何か知ってそうだけど課長は今日は本部の方に行ってますね何でも外せない会議があるとかそうだったなしかしもし本当だったとしても俺たちにはどうしようもなくねえかどう考えても議員どもの指示で警察本部に黙認されてそうだしよそうなんだよなうんでもな気持ちはわかるわ一応記念祭の間は気にかけておきましょう何か情報があるかもしれないしそうだなよしさっさと食べて今日も支援要請を片付けるか、うん、いやー Alright this is a really good place to stop Thank you so much for coming All right, let's see. Go switch here. Yeah, all right. We're going to find someone to raid. Let's see. Who do I raid today? Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm going to check out who is streaming right now. Oh. I'll leave raid. Say9VT. She is currently right now. Oh, he. He's right now um, doing some art. Nice. Alright, let's see. Um, yeah. Alright. Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye-bye.